And then she like leaves and goes upstairs to get her mind off things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Son of a Karen. <laughs> okay, no more. I'm putting a kibosh okay, okay, okay. on the I'm done. Stuff. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, she Harry. went upstairs to masturbate. <laughs> it's time to hack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes. Talking about tapes. Big thank you to Sony's Ghostbusters Afterlife for sponsoring this video. I am so excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Sometimes I wish I could bust ghosts on my day-to-day -day activities. Well, I got good news for you. Ah, a ghost! That's right, and the best way to bust ghosts is to download the new augmented reality mobile game, Ghostbusters Afterlife, Scare. If you're excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife to hit theaters, then this is the game for you. With this new game, you can bust ghosts anywhere you go. Anywhere? With this new game, the ghosts come to you. Each episode in the game gives you cool ghosts to bust and fun gadgets to obtain and use. You can fire up your proton pack and throw traps in the comfort of your own home. It's fun to play and watch. <laughs> wow, I feel like a real Ghostbuster. There are eight episodes all together, with the first two being free to play. Go to the link in the description and download Ghostbusters Afterlife Scare today. Bustin' makes me feel good. Hello, Kieran. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Tony. Today Hello, we are talking. <laughs> today we are talking about Spider-Man Two. Uh, the last Spider-Man review we did was kind of sad. I invited all three film Spider-Mans to appear, and they all died tragically. Here he comes! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Uh, but we have since confirmed that they are all in the new movie. Isn't yeah. that exciting? Every Spider-Man is in No Way Home. Uh, Nicholas Hammond from the 70s one isn't in it. Oh my god, they left the 70s TV Spider-Man out of the new movie. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. You know what's great, though? What's that, Tony? He's going to appear in this review. I think I hear him swinging in right now. Oh my god! Nicholas Hammond has died! This is now the fourth live-action Spider-Man who died on this show! Why do they all insist on swinging into the store? Good lord. <laughs> so yes, Spider-Man 2. Yeah. A film I believe we all love. Yes. Yep. Uh, Johanna, you confessed to me this year that this film was a little bit of a sexual awakening for you. We'll get more into that later. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and you know what? Speaking of sexual awakening, I know what you dirty fucks are all here for. And you're like, oh, can't wait for Kieran to talk about Aunt May's furious masturbation habits. Well, guess what? You ain't getting that today. Nope. Because this movie uh, has heart <laughs> and Aunt May is a saint. And uh, nothing but respect for her in this yes. film. She's gone through a lot. She goes through quite a bit. And I'm not going to fucking do that today. I'm, I'm not glad going to cheapen myself you <laughs> and not, your show, Tony. You will not with my insult. vulgar Sweet. words. <laughs> you will not insult Aunt May. How about the actress, Rosemary Harris? Will you consider her a pervert still? I'm sure she probably in real life does <laughs> do masturbation thingies once in a while. But anyway. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe Nothing. not furiously, but maybe vigorously. So in 2004, we were all excited for Spider-Man 2. Yes. I have the uh, nice Entertainment Weekly here of all the uh, 123 new releases that were coming out. Why do they oh look like they got their picture taken at that place in the mall that like blurs <laughs> the thing? <laughs> you the different backgrounds? Yeah, yeah, and there's you always like the a, most a thing of cubes or you something. You want to see the most boring web swinging ever? Hold on. I just saw Shrek. Yeah. Look at him. He's like, uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Wait, what are they the just hell? laying down like on a green screen like prop so. thing and they're just a like, rack oh. is back. A rack <laughs> is back. A rack. Huh. That's Ugh. a stretch. So yes, we were all excited for Spider-Man 2. Yeah. 
Super excited because we all love Spider Man One. Yeah. Yes. Starring the late Tobey Maguire. Yeah. <laughs> rest, rest in power. <laughs> yes. Uh, this was like a big deal. This was big. Yeah. Two thousand four was a bit like. Look at some of these movies that came out. Anchorman. Mm-hmm. Oh. Huge comedy. Uh, Harry Potter Three. Okay. Uh, I Robot. Oh wow. Not a good one. Uh, the yeah. Stepford Wives remake. I with Nicole Kidman. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Shrek Two. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Troy. Boogaloo. Oh, Troy. Troy was okay. The day after tomorrow. Troy Nicolo Ashford, the yes. director of Razor Sharp. Yes. Oh, Van Helsing. We have a review. Oh for my that. god, Van Helsing. <laughs> I went and saw that instead of seeing uh, what was it? What was the movie that was out? Was it uh, uh, the day after tomorrow? Was yeah, out, yeah. Like we just yeah, yeah. Day after tomorrow was one on Dodgeball, True Underdog Story. Okay. Was the it the Notebook? When was X Men Two? That was 2003. Three? Okay, so that was the year. Because it was like X-Men, Spider-Man, X-Men yeah. 2, Spider-Man 2, like each year. It's actually funny. Did, I, did Spider-Man 2 come out before? Hold on. Ooh. I just want to see. Okay, so I think fucking Chronicles of Riddick came out right before this. Oh, I, I saw that in theaters, too. Yeah, actually. I saw it in theaters, and I remember being like, wow, this movie really Fucking sucks. You thought so? I liked it. Oh, I, I like that it. scene where they're on the planet where it's like the day and night cycle. It's like freezing cold at night, but on the day oh, it's yeah. like a fucking fire in front uh, No, I hated it. Okay. But it's like a week or two right? later, yeah. Spider Man 2 comes out. And, uh, you know, obviously they were going to make this movie because the first one made a bajillion goddamn dollars. Yeah. Sam Raimi is back. Mm-hmm. And much like the first Iraq one, is back. Iraq, Iraq is, is back. back. <laughs> oh my god! I'm saying Iraq. That. I hate that. I hate Iraq is back. I don't like anything about it. <laughs> I so hate it. much like the first film, although not as bad. This had many many writers. Uh, the first one were uh, Alfred Go and Miles Miller, who I think are the Smallville guys. Okay. They took a crack at the script. David Cope from Jurassic Park, who also worked on the first Spider Man, came back. He took a crack at it, rewrote their thing. And then Michael Chabon came in and did a draft. Would you like to know about his draft? Michael Chabon? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I guess so. It's not as crazy as the first Spider-Man. Where, who was? Oh, what fuck. Was it, uh, what was the guy's name? Yeah, what it the was, fuck was oh, it? Oh, what um, was it? There lumpy was, or something? Like, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Octopus had a, a henchman called, like, Cheesy or something. Yeah, I forgot yeah, what, what the fuck was it? Yeah, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so stupid. annoyed. I forgot about that. So in this version, Dr. Octopus <laughs> is younger. Yes. And he's obsessed with Aunt May. Uh, like he's like a like a, a cougar chaser kind of. What no, were they? No, 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 not Aunt May, not Aunt May, not Aunt May, Mary Jane. Sorry, oh, sorry. okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> like, are you trying to bait me into talking about Aunt May's masturbation? No, habits? no, no. You're trying I thought, to. I thought that was what he was doing. Tony, too. that was lightning in a bottle. You can't just. Keep, I'm not gonna you know, be you can't just, I'm, not, I'm not here to be a one trick pony and do talk I about look Aunt like May masturbating someone, all the time. Do I look like someone who would redo <laughs> gags? Oh my god! So Dr. Octopus was a younger guy. He was obsessed with Mary Jane. According to this, he could attach his tentacles to him, but they were painful. So they're injecting endorphins into him to get rid of the pain. And he's kind of addicted to them. And I think at some point he kills two muggers, which scares Mary Jane. And then he gets into a fight with Spider-Man. And then they get fused to him. Okay. Okay. A little different than what yeah. happened. Um, he also is revealed to be the creator of the spider in the first film. Okay. Which I'm fine with. I think the ultimate yeah. Spider-Man comic kind of makes kind sense of involved it, yeah. with that. Uh, Spider-Man, and this kind of works into the new movie, because the whole thing is like, people were upset about the organic webs. Yeah. We forgot to mention, they did start filming with web shooters, even though they didn't want to. Uh, and there's a couple scenes, like when he's practicing in his room the first time, they had to like Photoshop flesh onto his hand to oh, get yeah? rid of the web shooters. Huh. They like didn't want to do it. They tried it and then they decided not to. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, they wanted to do that whole thing of like, how does he run out of webs? And this movie comes up with a reason. But in the original thing was uh, Spider Man uses a chip to get rid of his powers on oh. purpose. Okay, weird. Yes, uh, and the da- this actually sounds pretty awesome. The Daily Bugle puts a ten million dollar bounty out on Spider Man. So apparently citizens would have faked being in danger and then try to kill Spider-Man oh, wow. when he's safe. That's oh my God. That actually sounds pretty cool. This one made it into the final film, Harry and uh, Dr. Octopus teaming up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then Sam Raimi and Alan Sargent came in and they reworked it into what it is today. Uh, everyone knows Tobey Maguire almost didn't come back, right? Really? 
You didn't know that? No, I didn't know Dude, that. Dude, that was a big deal. He uh, got injured in Seabiscuit. Yeah, biscuit. his back. Yeah, he had a back that's injury. Why, that's kind of oh, right. another reason why okay. he was making that, like, my back stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He almost didn't come back. They were going to replace him with Jake Gyllenhaal. No shit. Which is funny because they went on to yeah. play Brothers later on, and now Jake Gyllenhaal yeah, is in the Spider-Man movies. Yeah, he's Mysterio, and now they might be in the movie again together or something. Like yeah, that, you know? yeah. Uh, so he almost didn't come back. I remember that being, like, a really, really big deal, but he was able to recover. They gave him a raise and That's everything. Good. That's scary. And it's super scary. And uh, the film was, I remember this at the time, the film was almost called The Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Like, they were probably going to do a different adjective each yeah. time. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, and, like, I guess it would have beat uh, Dark Knight to the punch, because yeah, that was the right. whole Batman yeah. Begins. And then, hey, here's his alternate title. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's talk about uh, the movie. Oh, what, you, we all saw this in theaters, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I saw it the day it came out. I, I went. Same. Me and my friend, we went there. Uh, I remember there were two fucking kids that were too excited. And they had to keep saying, they had to keep announcing to the theater every time Spider-Man was on screen. Oh, my God. So it's like Spider-Man swinging. And they're like, that's Spider-Man! And like an hour into the movie, I was just like, I get it. I know I'm very well aware of who Spider-Man is <laughs> yeah. right now. I would have been like, kid, shut the fuck up already. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I saw it right away. I wasn't sure what to think. I'm like, it'll probably be good, like the first one. And I fucking loved it. I think this movie is the benchmark yeah. of like superhero films yeah. to, from, from then on out. like uh, Especially superhero sequels. Oh, yeah. I mean, X Men Two and this were, are are probably two of the best sequels to come out. I at the especially yeah. at the time. At this time, and, yes. And nowadays, with how easy it is to not easy, but to uh, how how formulaic it is now to yeah. make a superhero movie good. This was like they were blazing trails. They didn't know what they were doing, and this movie, uh, I liked it way better than X. -Men. I love X Men Two, but yeah. this movie was just way better. Yeah, it's it's solid. Uh. It's also really dark. Yeah. It does. And there's well, mm, it's, it's got it's pretty heart, dark. Though, yeah. Know? And and it's more um of a drama than yeah. the other ones have been. And it's focused more on the characters so much than I was I mean, there's still like yeah, action and stuff, but the, the character drama is like entertaining. It's mm. not yeah. just like these are the boring parts until the action. It's like, no, no this is actually really mm -hmm. I'm invested I, in these yeah, characters. I think honestly every scene that even though it when it's not a fight, you're still yeah. On the edge of your seat listening to... I really captured those early comics where it's yeah. like, hey, Spider-Man is like dealing with some normal shit. Also, and also I, he's Spider-Man. I like that he's... Uh, every single fight scene in this has to do with him also having to save someone or yeah. or, or do some sort of heroic stuff. Like uh, when when things are falling, he's catching them or, or, or you know, it's always... Uh, he's saving no. someone in every single fight scene. For example, if someone threw an oil tanker at him, yeah. he wouldn't jump over it and let it blow up a parking structure behind him, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Because that's what happens in Man of Steel. <laughs> Superman <laughs> jumps over an oil tanker and lets it blow up a building. It's like, Superman, there might have been people in that yeah, building. Did you... <sighs> All they needed to do was show him X-raying to make sure no one was in the building, but whatever. Um, but you're right. I do like, there are multiple times where it's like, I'm beating up the bad guy, but also I'm helping people. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, start off with this film here. Uh, has a really nice recap of the previous one. Yep. Mm -hmm. With the Alex Ross paintings. Yeah. Which I didn't know that was Alex Ross. Yeah. So said, I just thought it was like I have a bunch of Alex art. Ross yeah. books. I didn't bring one in. Stupid. Yeah. Why not? The worst. What a not, fucking not stupid, dumb not the worst. That's a little mean. You, you ruined everything. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I did ruin Nicholas Hammond's life by inviting him into the episode. And yeah, was... and he and he ruined all the shit you had piled up on the desk too. So yeah. maybe it's a kind of even trade. <laughs> it's he was even. Just super he died and he inconvenienced my desk. Yeah. He just wanted to be included. Yeah. He just... Saw that IGN article. He was very sad. Well, now he's piled up next to the other Spider-Man actors. I never got rid of them. Yeah, there's it skeletons really right here and it's been smelling for weeks. <laughs> No one, we're never going to get a celebrity on this show again. <laughs> yeah. Every time I come here, a bunch of bugs are in all my shit because of all the decomposing spider corpses. <laughs> I thought that was because of Tony. Oh, and Tony. No, fuck you. Tony smells like a, yeah. like a decomposing, no, Tony smells so the spider, fine. Tony smells so fine. The, yeah, like Alex Ross. Fresh <laughs> Christmas ham. Yeah. 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 The Alex yeah. Ross paintings are pretty great. <laughs> Uh, extremely detailed. It's good. Like, there's probably people who missed the first one, got dragged to this, and they're like, "All right, I'm getting the point." I'm yeah, like, All right, yeah. Spider bit him. There was a goblin, I guess. Uh, yeah. Sure. Also, by that time, I think everybody knows fucking Spider Man was bit by a spider. Yeah. And uh, you know, Spider Man's aunt master. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it anymore. I promise. <laughs> so um, Peter is still obsessed with Mary Jane, even though he 
And who like, wouldn't be? <laughs> I do like that transition of the comic style into the actual like picture. Yeah. yeah. Like you thought it was going to be her, but then it wasn't her. Yeah. Uh, what is that called? It's a deep fake. No, it's a fake out. You dumb <laughs> Actually, it's a misdirect. A that's what fake? I told you the first time. You're like, no, 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 that's not the word. I'm pretty sure it's deep fake. <laughs> deep fake wasn't even around at that point. Uh, but yeah, so he's still in the Mary Jane, even know. though he rejected her. Yeah. Um, and he's uh, he's a delivery man now. Yeah. And Which I love. It's it, like, and he's I, pissed off Asif Mambe, uh, from The Daily Show. Okay. Who was in The Last Airbender? Oh. You really like that movie, right? It's the best adaptation of anything made ever. My friend was in that. He, he was, was a waterbender. I was supposed to be Jackson Rathbone's body double, but I. They paid me to try on outfits, and then I never got the part. Mm. They were supposed to use my work's pool for one of the scenes. And I even remember still having the card, and it said the last airbender on it. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to keep this forever. Because, like, I'll, I burnt that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the scene where Aang and everybody are just, like, you know, playing beach ball at the pool and, and go, <laughs> go swimming for a minute. Um. Yeah, so uh, Asif's there. Uh, this scene is a lot. Lo oh, so did anyone watch Spider Man 2.1? No, I'd never even heard of it until you. you uh, so I movie. never owned it. I think I might have seen it once on TV. They aired it. Okay. Uh, but I got the Blu rays at the fucking thrift store a few months back. All three Spider Man films for like three bucks. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I watched Spider Man 2.1. Uh, this is one of the expanded scenes. I told you, I don't understand that language. Why don't you speak? I feel like he doesn't say go as funny as he does in the theatrical cut. Mm -hmm. Go! I, I love yeah. when he goes, go! Go! <laughs> go! Go! But he tells them he's got eight minutes to deliver or they lose the money forever. How many blocks does he have to go? Like 47, I think he says? Something like yeah. that. Well, it's definitely 40 something. Which yeah. I would still be like, hey, uh, Peter, I got it. You know, I heard you got there, but you got there like two minutes late. But uh, how the fuck? <laughs> did you do that, Peter? I gave you an impossible task, yeah. so I could fire you. How did you I'd do it? I'd still be like, you got there? What? <laughs> um, Are you Spider-Man? So yeah, Spider-Man drives a uh, little scooter. Yep. Uh, a moped? Yeah, it's like yeah. a moped. Um, not getting fast enough, so he switches to Spider-Man. Yep. And Ashy Larry sees this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, he stole that guy's pizza. It's, it's one of the best. Like I remember in the theater, everyone erupted at yeah. that part. This, this movie is so memed. Yeah, no, it totally. I want to say like almost every frame of this movie is fucking me. Yeah. Toby's faces. Yeah, oh, yeah. Toby's faces. There's some Doc Ock almost stuff that's me. The, the third Jameson. one is definitely, I think, more so though, because of the whole like, give me rent and like, you'll get the rent when you fix this damn oh, door yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> but like, yeah. but the the whole fucking J Jonah Jameson scene with the yeah. squirrels part is like. I've seen that re-edited a million times with the laugh and all that stuff. It's ridiculous. Uh, he saves some kids while swinging. Yeah. Uh, and he even saves a slice of pizza. So what do you think? Like, when he did deliver that pizza, like, he le he leaves it on a guy's balcony to save the kids. And yeah. then he takes it and then webs the one slice. Did he, like, put it back in the box with so, the web on? Um, maybe. Also, I had a problem with that pizza because they said eight. Uh, large deep, deep dish. dish that wasn't was fucking not, deep yeah, dish that was, that was not, not deep, deep dish, dish. Yeah. also it looked very cold and also if he was delivering fresh pizzas that freaking like if you open that up that's freaking cheese oh my god been all like well, this way or the second th time he swung anywhere that pe unless i guess unless he was like always keeping to make sure it was like oh he wasn't he was yeah going, it was like that pizza was probably like crumpled up <sighs> do you remember when you guys filmed the uh, lady ghostbusters review and we ordered that pizza, mm, pizza. we ordered it from a place pretty close like down the street, uh -huh. and then when we got it, like all the toppings were on one side. Oh, I'm like, did what the, happened? They did, yeah, they probably I still uh, ate it. <laughs> yeah, still ate it. <laughs> they probably did the whole thing where they put it on the seat like this, mm -hmm. and it's like it was. It was. I learned that the hard way, by the way. That's why the scene always annoys me now because yeah. I remember specifically putting the pizza in the back of the car, and the seat like was tilted. Yep. And I remember taking the pizza out, and I'm like, oh my god. It was uh, yeah. almost Jeez. as bad as the uh, the tacos I had at Astronomicon. Remember I uh, I Uber Eats Taco Bell, and then when I got there, like I think the guy must have dropped them on the way and didn't tell me. So like mm -hmm. I'm I'm like oh unwrapping the tacos and they're just exploded. And I'm like I'm just so hungry. You got hard shell? Like, uh, no, I got I think I got soft shell. How did it explode? Soft shell crab tacos. It was, it, it was like mashed into the paper when then it was sticking to the paper. I hate that. Uh, shit. I think it's just because of like the steam and stuff. Why and would also, you ever like, DoorDash something yeah. like Taco Bell though? I, I, I didn't have a car in Detroit. 
I don't know, but like DoorDash something have gotten, normal. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten Taco Bell. I don't yeah. know, guys. Whatever. Taco Bell, like you, you can't even eat like a fucking uh, cheesy. Uh, what is it? The Dorito taco? Oh, yeah. You can't have one of those things after about 15 minutes. It's mm. already uh, gross. You got to eat that right there. Raw. Raw? <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> so Spider-Man shows up in the broom closet. Is that this where scene? Harry ends up brooming girls? Well, so- <laughs> Keep, continue. This scene annoyed the shit out of me because I'm like, just fucking do it later. Deliver the pizzas and do it later. Yeah. Also, how does he get from the roof to a broom closet? And how does she not I guess question it, that? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, did he yeah. like did he just think, smash through the ceilings actually, <laughs> until he gets into I think in the two point one he goes back he goes to head toward the broom closet. And I think she might be like the elevator's like right there. Mm. He's like, Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I think I did see that scene. I think I that, think she does say that. Jessica, confirm it for us. Okay, I'm sure she did that. Uh, but yeah, it's Emily Deschanel, yep. Zoe Deschanel's sister. Bones. 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 Uh, but yeah, Before he gets fired. Huh? Yeah. Before the fame. There's yeah. a lot of people like that in this, we were saying. Yeah, like, there's yeah, a lot of like, I know them. that person. Yeah, like there's or, oh, Joe hey! McHale. And then, there's also yeah. a lot of busty extras. Yeah, I noticed Why that were there too. so many shots of boobs? There were. There like, were a lot of time, like, I mean, every I'm time okay you, with boobs. I love boobs, but like, why <laughs> were there so many boobs? Every time Spider Man does something, there's like two horny chicks every second. Yeah, there really second. is. Like, like wow. with Dr. Ox, I'm like, I'm like, wow, those girls are real busty yeah. and they're focusing on them. <laughs> that and Kirsten's nipples are just always All like, the boink. time. In the I feel like, girl. Movies, yeah, I always notice that. <laughs> like, I'm guessing. I mean, I, I, I always was, notice that. I'm I guess fucking was, weirdo. I guess that was the second unit director, and he was just like, get those girls in front yeah, of Yeah, probably. You think Sam Raimi was like watching it in the theater? And he's like, wow, that guy really liked yeah. those girls. It's kind of like, in, well, I mean, it could be fucking Tarantino and its feet everywhere. <laughs> he's like, get get that girl's feet and Spider-Man's feet, and then and then make sure that the feet are feet. <laughs> I'd rather have boobs. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, what's it called? He gets fired. Yeah. Uh, by Asif Bombay. Yep. Monday. Monday. He rips off the sticker. Yeah, also, I sticker. will say this. He, when he was delivering that pizza, there was one pizza that's totally crushed. Yeah. Pizza time. Like, he, like that pizza was going to be fucked anyway. And there was a ton of Dr. Pepper behind him because they still had <laughs> oh, a Dr. Yeah, Pepper that's right. thing. Because Dr. Pepper's owned by Coca Cola, and this is a Sony yeah. film. It's, no, so Dr. Like, Pepper is its own thing, but it's bottled by Coca Cola, I believe. And Coca Cola and Sony are like. I think Sony yeah. owns Coca Cola. Coca Cola owns Sony. It was. They remember. have a partnership, yeah. so they show up on a lot of these. But yeah, Dr Pepper's its own thing. I'm pretty sure. It might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's its own. It's like the third brand, but it's it's bottled under. Like it's basically like. Okay. It's developed by someone else, but it's published by like Ubisoft or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> by Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Peter gets fired again by J Jonah Jameson because he's not getting him the pictures of Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, and then he eventually. He reluctantly agrees to give him the pictures because Jay Jonah's just going to make up a food poisoning scare. Yep. Yeah, fake news. Which you Pretty feel much. very strongly about. And <laughs> please just, can you relax? Like a lot of people, the last Spider-Man episode did really well. I don't want I'm people. I'm going to add you to that pile of bodies. <laughs> <laughs> you get your... Lola Bunny's down there too. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. You get your hand yeah. on a fake news rant. It's just like, that's it. That's the end of the day. You're not going to be able to get out of it. Um... So yeah, everything's going pretty bad for Peter. Yeah. He goes to the university. We see Dylan Baker, who I mentioned in our Trick or Treat episode. Yep. I really wish we got to see him as the lizard because he's one of the most scary actors ever. Oh, really? When he plays a bad guy, he's really what, fucking What good. else is he in? Um, He's currently in that show, uh, Hunters, which okay. I still have not seen, but that one scene sold me on it. Uh, he's in Trick or Treat. Uh, one of his first movies was Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. He's okay. the creepy truck guy who picks them up. Huh. Um, what was the pedo movie he was Happiness. In? That's it. He plays a pedophile in ha- I'm sorry. He plays a cuties fan in Happiness. Oh, my God. Uh, and that's is one of the, the most- kind of show we're in? Yeah, yeah, this is one of the most disturbing performances. Like, he is very the grim. Fuck? It's just a black hair. It's Tony's not mine. Weird. I don't have black hair. Yeah, Tony, you, you gotta- You must have a real- I never sit on that side. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was just sitting on this thing. Yeah. So we see him, Dylan Baker as Dr. Connors. Yeah. And everyone was like, he's going to be the lizard one day. He also mm-hmm. had no arm. Yeah. Yes. Um, and he was name dropped in the previous film. Uh, Peter says he was fired by Dr. Yeah, Connors. Yeah. So now he's now a student. And just, why does Dr. Connors keep giving this guy chances? I mean, he knows that Peter's like smart as shit. Yeah. Tony, like Peter is like. 
he's got to be like high IQ and all that shit. He's answering questions and he's probably like, damn, this kid, he's such a dumb asshole, but he's, he's, he's super br- smart. Brilliant, but lazy. Brilliant, brilliant but, but lazy. lazy. Yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm still upset we never got to see him be the lizard. Hopefully yeah. in the new one. Hopefully in the new who, one. Who was the lizard in in Amazing? Oh, fuck. What was his name? It was pretty decent. I never saw it. They like did a good Ian job with it. I I, I yo, I'm one that. of those people. I actually like Amazing Spider-Man. I'm, I'm okay with it. It's fine. It's, it's, it's not the greatest. Match. I just watched eh. the death scene with the tiny little web. That's hand. Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's garbage. That is a garbage film. You don't like that one? No, it's fucking awful. It's barely a movie. I thought it was okay. It's 10,000 commercials for movies that never happened. <laughs> it's not a movie. I love that they... They started filming Mary Jane scenes with that one actress. Shailene Woodley. Yeah. And then they never even made deleted scenes because they probably never even edited them because in the middle of filming, they're like, we're not doing Mary Jane anymore. It's like, what yeah. the fuck is this movie? Remember they wanted to set up a uh, Aunt May prequel where she was a secret agent? What? Yeah, that was in one of the Sony leaks for potential Spider-Man movies. That sounds terrible. Yeah, that's why after that movie failed, they went to Disney and Marvel, and they're like, we're willing to work with you now. We don't know how to do Spider-Man uh, movies. I'm trying to turn somehow figure out how to turn that into a masturbation reference. <laughs> <laughs> However, one thing goes right for Peter. It's his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, arachnophobia, <laughs> because it's Spider-Man. Arachnophobia. Nephobia is bacnophobia. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it turns out it's his birthday. Yeah. Uh, how old do you think the character is? <laughs> how I guess he's supposed to be like, what, like 20 at yeah. this point or 21? Well, he's maybe? still in college. So well, maybe... yeah, but he's probably 21 because he's drinking champagne or whatever. Oh, he goes yeah. to drink at the uh, thing. Maybe he is 21 Because it's been two years. Right. So if you think about it, he was probably 19 in the first, like he was probably 18 turning 19. And then it's been two years since then so he's probably yeah, like 21 ish and this is probably his 21st birthday i'd say this is not his 20 that's a lame 21st birthday have you not seen how he's living he's he's you know he has awesome. a rich friend harry oh, i guess they're strange. but he he says things like oh boy and and uh gee did i say that aunt may <laughs> like he's you know he's a he's a fucking weenie hut yeah. like he's not he's not gonna have a booze ass party where he's <laughs> Getting hammered and shit. Also, too, with his spider powers, he might not even get hammered. Well, he tries to drink later. Yeah, but I mean, he might not get like drunk if you think about it. Like you, his whole metabolism. We're is gonna have fucking... to get a spider drunk and see what happens. They're all dead. A spider will get drunk. A spider man might not. Maybe he gets drunker. <laughs> Maybe. I Maybe it know. removes the enzyme that breaks down alcohol. <laughs> he's just like he he's just, just like a hammer. He's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> shooting webs. <laughs> Oh, Spider Man's drunk. I mean, if Superman could get drunk in Superman three, I'm pretty sure Spider Man. Yeah, but wasn't did he get drunk in? Su- I didn't see. Superman. Yeah, when he became when he became Superman evil, 3, Superman, like, he's getting drunk at the bar. I like the don't remember evil. Superman. 3. It is. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, Mary Jane uh, is super horny for him. Yeah, uh, Harry is still upset that he's friends with Spider Man. Yeah, he loves Peter. Yep. Hates Spider Man. Kind of awkward. He's still kind of somewhat normal, though, at this point. He hasn't gone totally, like, crazy Harry yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He yeah. does do the whole thing where he's just like... I, I like that he informs him, like, hey, Mary J- uh, Mary Jane's still into you. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, is she? And well, he they, should say, like, yeah, I used to bone her. I know when she's yeah. into you. Like, I, uh, I like the friendship dynamic between the three of them in this I like in, that in he's trying to movies. wingman him. Yeah, and I, that's the thing. Like, I, I really do like uh, Harry's character in these movies, in all of them. I think he's always been, like, pretty cool but i it's just he you know i guess i would be fucked up if i found out my dad died and peter might have killed him and also i'd be like peter why'd you stab my dad in the cock (laughs) with giant blades in case you missed the first one we realized (laughs) so i guess because spider-man didn't want green goblin uh, you didn't want harry to know he's green goblin so he took him out of the green goblin suit but then he just laid him in the bed naked with just stab wounds yeah. in his groin area. Also, and it's like, that, like, what is Harry supposed to assume happened? <laughs> you know that like, like, I'm like just his, stab uh, him in the groin. Yeah, like his bowels probably leaked all over the place. It probably stunk. Yeah. Like he, he probably perforated his was bladder. Was he swinging so was with him everywhere. naked? Like, I guess. This- <laughs> He was just, oh my god! Could you imagine like the like Spider Man swinging with Willem Dafoe naked? What the fuck? Like, what is happening? Well, I guess it would be whatever happened Harry to the Osborne. glider. Did the police get that? What happened? I don't know. Also, Spider Man would have to rip the glider out, which means you know he probably perforated his fucking out. femoral artery or whatever. All this shit, blood's flying. Did Spider Man take the glider? I don't know. <laughs> Flying yeah, he put with it Willem Dafoe. Like, for him. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
And he put it back in that secret room for him and shit, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but Harry wants to know who Spider-Man is, and Peter won't tell him. Yeah. Obviously, for obvious yeah. reasons. Uh, I'd be like, all right, look, dude, I'm going to tell you. I know who Spider-Man is, but he's a total fucking loser. Like, you don't even understand. Yeah. You you really shouldn't concern yourself. He's a fucking loser. <laughs> <Like, laughs> but just why did he stab my dad in the dick? Yeah. That's all I'd I I'd be like, you know, know what, Spider-Man, he said, like, look, man, I'm sorry, but uh, I was jealous <laughs> of your dad. <laughs> he was more hung than me. <laughs> yeah, his dad was really cool. <laughs> um... This scene gets to a lot of people. Aunt May, uh, her house for being foreclosed mm. on. Uh, I remember people like being like, "This, this hits ho- close to home." When she gives them the twenty dollars, like, "No, no!" And then she like yells at him. Yeah. I, I can't take that. Yes, you can. You can take this money from me. She's like, because people have been in that situation where like a relative who has no money is trying to give them money to feel better, and it's like. Uh, very relatable. Yeah, I had Spider-Man's very relatable. That's character. happened to me, and it's and it's like one of those things you gotta. I remember my my one cousin was like, "Dude, take the fucking gift. Like, yeah. stop always refusing." And yeah. it's like because that's the thing is like you gotta understand sometimes. Like sometimes the person's like, "Look, I fucking know. Mm. Just take the gift, you know." Yeah. And so ever since then, I've always, I've always just taken the <laughs> take whatever anyone get. No, I'm just like a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mary Jane, she hints to Peter that uh. She wants him to get it in or he needs to move on. Yeah. Get it in. Fucking, you ever, ever anyone ever use that line on you? You need to get it in or. I was at a party. Huh? I was at a party years ago and this chick like went up to her and she's like, you want to get it in? And I'm like, that's a very weird. That's yeah. very forward. Like, that's so. I didn't like that. You like, want to get it in? I'd be like, get in where? Yeah. <laughs> Do, are you saying you want me Which to. Which hole? To get, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get in or get out like the <laughs> Nintendo 64? So basically Mary Jane's like, you better get it in or I'm going to marry your boss's son or something. So she says that? No. Why don't no, I, no, I, I, just, I was like, why? Was that in the 2.5? No, because was, when I was watching this board, I'm like, Mary Jane wants to get it in. I'm like, why did I say that? And then I remember that girl. I'm like, why did it pop into my head? <laughs> Mary Jane, Peter, listen to me. I, you got to get it in. I'm going to have to go the way of Aunt May and just. I'll never forget that. Furiously never forget that. masturbate. <laughs> You want to get it in? I'm like, that is the grossest way I've ever, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so. Why can't we just do a forward, normal Spider-Man right? review? I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't even say that to my fiance. Like, <laughs> it's too forward. I'm going, home. Oh, Ian, want to get it in? I'll be like, oh, what the God. fuck are you talking about? Because <laughs> it's, it's too mechanical. It's like, yeah, yeah I, no, no, it's not clever. No. You want to get it in. <laughs> it. In. There's so many questions. What is it? Where is yeah, it? Exactly. And then as you're asking these questions, the girl just walks. I'm guessing like, like, yeah, he didn't pick up on You're it. talking of my penis into a into some place. You want me to put it? <laughs> I'm Spider Man. I feel bad for the people who click on these videos because they're getting excited for No Way Home. Spider Man. Yeah. And they're and like, like, wow, there's a lot of talk about dicks. Yeah. It, it, masturbation. It, it, most of it. Forty five percent of the video. Masturbation. Getting it in. <laughs> Uh, stabbing oh of dicks. Oh, God. So, yeah, she tells him, I'm seeing another guy. It might get serious. She just, like, throws it at him, too. She's like, I'm seeing someone. And he's like, oh, the G. Oh, that's good. Like a boyfriend? Doesn't he go, like, good companionship? Yeah, or something like that. And she's like, maybe more than that. And he's like, oh, dick. Oh, so is he like, is, is he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it in all the time, Peter. And you're not. <laughs> Yo, J. Jonah Jameson's son does not get it in. He is like... He's like, you kissed me upside down. I'm on the moon again. Like, he's a <laughs> he fucking weenie hut. He has, to keep her, he has to keep reminding people he's an astronaut. He's a yeah. whole Yeah, the NASA shirt. I'll talk about that later, but yeah. yeah. It's like, we get it, dude. You've been to space. Yeah. No uh, one cares anymore. It's 2021. He um he agrees <laughs> to go to Everyone's going to space now. <laughs> he agrees to go to her play because like everyone's gone to her play except yeah. for him. Uh, yeah, Harry saw it twice, I Yeah, think. he agrees to it because he's an idiot. Yeah, you, know, you should just know that's like not gonna like. Yeah, you know what, Mary Jane? I'm just not gonna. See I'll be like, it. Mary Jane, your play looks like shit anyway. I'm gonna be honest; it looks fucking <laughs> like I don't want to go. Uh, <laughs> then we meet the best character in the entire franchise. Yeah, Mr. Dictovich. Yeah, the, the landlord. Give me rent. Give me rent. Give me rent. Do you have rent? Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi. What's hi? Can I spend it? Uh, what was it? If promises were cookies, my daughter be fat or yeah. something. Oh my god! <laughs> Have you seen where they edit him into other things? Oh yeah, yeah. The bully Maguire or Toby in MCU? Yeah, yeah. I love um, where they make him Thanos. <laughs> yes, 
my my a friend of mine, uh, Dante Ravioli, who does the no. the Resident Evil, he he does Resident Evil challenges, and there's always the give me rent part or something. Yeah. It'll be like Mister X or something like Do that. Do you think or, he's coming back for the new movie? I hope so. Actually, you know, that I would, would love if really the new movie it's like Tobey Maguire's just giving him rent. <laughs> yeah, right. Or if he's like he's just there and he's like, I owe you this or something. Like he just gives him it. Like, I was gonna say, I don't think finally he still gives him there. the rent. It's weird in Spider. No, we'll mention in Spider Man Three. That apartment sucks balls too. Huh? That apartment sucks balls. It really does. They got to share a bathroom and yeah, shit <laughs> with him hey too. Arnold. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> when he goes hey to Arnold. the bathroom, yeah. he just comes. Oh, I don't eat. Bread. Never eat raspberries. Yeah. <laughs> this is where they start to imply that his daughter might be into Peter, but it's never really expanded upon. I mean, she, she makes him the cake, and she has. Yeah, a crush it's heavily it. hinted to, but like it never. And she goes like, "Hi, Peter," and then burns shit. Yeah. But like yeah. it never evolves into anything. It's weird. But she has uh, a cute crush. That's the thing. Like she has a crush, She's and it's cute. and it's more like it kind of gives him a minute where he kind of is like, you know what? Maybe I can blah blah blah, and uh, and they they have the cake together, and she leaves, and then uh, you know she understands in the next movie too. Like she's like she's she seems like just a really good friend. Yeah. You know. Uh, speaking of good friend, we forgot to mention Harry. Let him know he's like, hey, your hero, daughter, Doctor Otto Octavius. Yeah. Uh, he's doing a thing. You can meet him and do a paper on him. Yep. And then we meet Otto Octavius. And it's here where Johanna discovered that she was a chubby chaser and into guys with crooked noses. He's hot. Okay. Have you seen him with a beard? Alfred Molina? Like Jessica, put a picture of him with a beard. I want to say young Alfred Molina, but then I remember Raise the Lost Ark, and he looks nah, like such a dweeb. Who, who is he in Alfred Molina? I mean, who is he? Who is he in Alfred Molina? He's the guy in the very beginning. Throw me the idol. Throw oh, me that's the lip. him? Yes. Oh, I didn't know He's that. He's that guy. Huh. Weird. He's the guy who gets hit, killed with the spikes yeah, right that away. Yeah, sucks. Alfred Molina, you've literally never mentioned it. I have. The new trailer you came out. You don't pay out. attention. This is why we broke up. He's like, hey, Peter. <laughs> it was your politics is why we broke up. Oh, uh, get the fuck out of here. It was it was 2008. If I was don't all like hope my you were not. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> who did he? Re- I don't even remember who he ran against. <laughs> anyway, Alfred Molina. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So in high school, you were all about blonde Harry Potter kid. Tom Felton. You never shut up about him. I mean, I was also in the Sean Bean. So what, what's this doing for you? It doesn't look like him. Look, look at the, why is it's it? It's close. It looks more like his um, face is squished in here, though. He looks more like this fighter, uh, Stefan Bonner. Who's, a, who's an MMA fighter? He's in the, one of the worst movies I've ever oh, seen he's in my too life. Skinny. He really is. The, 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 the thing is the, really yeah, skinny. The, the they cur- also don't the, give him his brown leather suit yeah. underneath. Yeah. Also, he has his uh, his octopus girdle. Yeah. He's not I love uh, it's 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 not holding anything. I yet. love the uh, the meme someone did where they're like, <laughs> Dr. Octopus is cosplaying as every character from the Matrix, including yeah, the Sentinels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a great one. I'm like, I'm, I looked at him like, motherfucker, yeah. he is. But I also realized I'm not alone in my attraction to him because once that trailer came out for No Way Home, literally, I'm talking TikTok. I was just recommended all these videos, and I'm like, oh my god. Not, I'm Molina. valid. You need I'm not to go, saying he's a bad-looking guy. Go to horny jail. I'm just saying... Uh, 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 high school. Sorry that I'm not into traditional... I was going to say, <laughs> high school-age Johanna... I don't see her being into this, dude. Yeah, I was into him. You're, like, you're, Vigo into, and... you're into Fall Out Boy guy. Be, no, I, I was Mortensen? not into Fall Out Boy. Mm-mm. No. Vigo Mortensen mm-hmm. or Vigo from uh, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> 2. Yeah, Ghostbusters 2, <laughs> definitely. Painting, mm-hmm. I guess I can see it. Uh, and like you've mentioned, Sean Bean. You mentioned Bruce Willis and stuff. You've yep, never mentioned Bruce Alfred Willis. Molina. You just don't pay attention to me. Bruce Willis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God! Sometimes I'd be at his house and I'm just staring at that headboard thing and I'm just like, "Oh, you're beautiful." I oh my a God, Bruce Willis. So he's like, <laughs> nothing. I nothing. <laughs> Do it. No, I'm not. No, I'm it. guessing what you were gonna say. <laughs> Furiously master. Did he have that? Did you have that while you two were dating? I've had that since yeah. before we were dating. I've had that headboard for a long time. Really? Yeah. Tony's like, are you thinking of someone else? <laughs> like. Me no, at Bruce staring no, at Bruce at, Willis. Not at all. <laughs> <This giant> like, <laughs> Speaking of that, Otto tells Peter, "It's like, hey, you're smart and stuff, but you need to get laid." Uh, <laughs> Do you think of Bruce Willis's bare feet in 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 Die Hard when he's like crushing his toes into stuff and he's picking gotta, glass out of I gotta, it? I gotta hide this. I gotta hide this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm uh, done. I'm done. <laughs> uh, but speaking of sex, uh, Rosie and Otto. Those two actors, yeah, they have the, the sexual chemistry there. Like I believe, I'm like, oh, those characters. Are oh like, yeah, yeah. She's getting it in on. Well, the no, ring. not for anything. <laughs> uh, his his wife, let me tell you, ravishing. 
Rosie. Uh, yeah. What was she in? You know, some. You told me she was in something. She I was forget. Mother Gothel and Tangled. That's it. Okay. She was the mom in Tangled. And the mom's oh. also a babe. Yeah, I love Tangled. I, I like it Tangled. better than Frozen. Tangled's good. You Tangled show, is better than Frozen. Yeah, it really is. It's you underrated. showed me Tangled, and I was like, whatever. And then I watched. I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty yeah, it's good. good. I was it's like, fun. yeah, bitch. And then I watched yeah. Frozen. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah. Frozen Why is everyone was singing the song? It's terrible. The song's good. People like whatever, Tony. People like what they like, I guess. To each their <sighs> own. But yeah, he's like, listen, Peter. You're like Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah. Don't don't well, not today. I can't imagine liking no. Roadhouse because I do. <laughs> You're so. supposed to go along with me. <laughs> I like Roadhouse, so I'm not. I'm, no, not today. <laughs> they announced that they are going forward with a Jake Gyllenhaal remake of Roadhouse. No way. That actually sounds awesome, though. And I'm hoping that, like the previous remakes they have attempted, it's just gonna go away. I don't know. That might be. They awesome. wanted to do it with Ronda Rousey a few years back. Ew. Oh, it, mm. yeah, yeah. Ew. I no, think you know. Thank God, Ronda move. Rousey got her ass knocked out by Holly Holm and and, <laughs> and it just ended that. You know, because Ronda Rousey, I I think she. You know, not to take anything away from her, she was has one of the most <clears throat> dominant win streaks in MMA history. But if you look at the fighters now, like uh, Amanda Nunez is fucking beast. And and all the other fighters, uh, Rose Namahunas and stuff, they make Ronda Rousey look like. It, I, we're, let's not get into. Let's MMA. not get into. Yeah, no, no, no. Kira can I talk, could talk all day, all about day MMA. about women's MMA and only women's MMA, MMA in general. But Larson. I do, yeah. And <laughs> no, Brie just Larson, women's MMA. <laughs> and Brie Larson, in, and Brie Larson's MMA career, I could talk about. All <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, you should make her that UFC game. Yeah, <laughs> just make Brie Larson. Never, oh, you can't make. F they didn't have the female division back then on the. Oh. Games. It was only. The, it was very. Well, sexist. Get a new game. Yeah, I should actually. Yeah. I should get the new one. Um, I'm still playing Undisputed see, Three. He gives uh, Otto the uh, advice to read poetry. Yeah. to women. Does that ever he work? Gave he gave he, Otto. Gave. Otto gave him. Has anyone um, ever read poetry to you? No, thank God. Also, I like how oh Rosie straight up is just like, so do you have a girlfriend? AKA, so are you getting it in? Yeah, like, right? No, like, you know what that, that come from? You like, know what, what that was? She was like, Otto, I think uh, this kid who looks up to you, I think he could be a third. Let's oh my God, yeah, you know what they do I look like? I would say yes so do, you, do you have a girl? They look friend? like that couple that, you know, whenever it's like, oh, you're in Europe and it's like this couple buys you a glass of wine <laughs> or whatever. Meme, it's the me with Adam Driver and Lady Gaga. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I like how Peter's supposed to be really smart and everything, and yeah. he forgets that you shouldn't put reds with your whites, mm -hmm. and he ruins all his whites. Although I don't think that's a real. I never had that problem. It looks I've like never a, had that problem. I'd I think like it's, a, it's been. I think maybe they've like fixed it, but that was a thing. You put reds in with your mm -hmm. whites, the red would stain the whites, and well, it's like, all the blue did smart. too, or just like your colors in general. I'd be like, yeah. I ate a bomb pop, and it got all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what happened. I'm just picturing like Peter Parker on a date like, and like I ate a bomb pop. <laughs> God damn it. Um, oh, so he's getting ready. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so stupid. Did you guys know this was the best superhero movie Roger Ebert ever saw? Really? Up until 2004. Wow. Don't put that in there. So, Peter is even more of an idiot with his suit. Yeah. He's getting ready for the party. Mm -hmm. Or not the party. The uh, the play. The play. Uh, and he's got his suit on. And he's looking in his closet. Or no, he's getting changed. He looks at his closet. And he's got his suit on one hanger. And then the Spider-Man suit on another. Yeah. Now, I know in the next film, he's got like a trunk that he keeps it in. But I'm like, Peter, you really like your landlord has access. Like he can enter your yeah, he apartment right at any in. point, and he really wants to evict you. You shouldn't have your fucking Spider-Man suit just hanging around. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, but I guess he wears it underneath. Um, yeah. So is Peter just like he's just not going on any dates because the whole responsibility thing. I'm guessing so. You know. So he just wears that suit underneath him <clears throat> all the time. Yeah, probably. I do that in the summer. Yeah, like a New York summer and how. But like, like he doesn't have and, like ugh. he doesn't have multiple suits. <clears throat> Not at this point, he's poor as shit. Yeah, he can't. I'm even... mad they never explained where he got that first suit. I'm like, that's too nice of a suit for him to whip together. Yeah, I wonder where he got it. Also, I yeah. don't know. He is a scientist though, so if you think about it, he could make like tensile shit and stuff like that. And like, where's he, he buying could, the like, materials? Know, mm, fabric bonanza. <laughs> Joanne's. <laughs> Joanne's. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> 
Peter almost gets run over on the way there. Uh, they crash his moped and he does a backflip. Yeah. And I like that the kids are just like, how'd you do that? He's like, I eat my vegetables. Yeah, I love that scene. And he's like, it's my so mom's been saying that. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> uh, but this scene's awesome where the uh, the cop car goes out of control. And yeah. then like it freezes. And I like that you don't see the web right away until the light hits it, which is how real spider webs kind of work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, the crowd's real it's excited. It's a web. Yeah. Go, Spidey, go! <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, he uh, beats the shit out of the guys. And I think in the extended version, you actually see him get in the driver's seat and take his mask off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think it's pretty cool. But then he shows up. He shows up to the thing in his suit. So did he drive back to get his clothes and then drive? I would assume. He got all naked in the car. <laughs> And just changed. <clears throat> I'm always confused about his suit stuff. I want to try to like. I think tomorrow, on the way to work, I'm going to try to change my clothes while I'm driving, and see how it works. Hmm. I think the most realistic. If thing I show that up ever, dead tomorrow, the most realistic thing that ever pulled it off was uh, Batman Returns when Michelle Pfeiffer's trying to drive in her car and turn into Catwoman. But I like how you see like Batman has this nice process of doing it, and yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer's like she's trying to steer the wheel and get yeah. the gloves on. <laughs> I'm like, that's probably how it would go down in real life. Oh, yeah. Like, hold on. Uh. I you ever tr- you ever accidentally like knock a shoe off while you're driving or something, and then you're trying to put your shoe on? No. no. Oh man, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how though. Bruce Campbell cameo. Yep. Fucking great. I, I this love is it. my favorite one. Yeah. This one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Where he's he's like helping him get ready. He's like, okay, why are you here? And it's like, Bruce, why else would he be? Here? Yeah. Uh, but he's really mean to him. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, you can't come in. Uh, you're late. Uh, you got to shut the fuck up. Yeah. I also like that. I guess this is like he during the day he does wrestling shows, but then he's an usher. Well, remember at the time. the time they said this wasn't the same person. It's not. Because okay. then he's French in the third one. Oh, yeah, that's right. However, did you ever see the uh, concept art for Spider-Man 4? No. It was going to open with Mysterio being unmasked and it was Bruce Campbell. They oh. drew it like Bruce Campbell. So the idea is that Mysterio... Because he's like an entertainer, dude. Yeah, yeah. The idea is like he was just, you know, dressing up like these people, these, doing yeah, shenanigans yeah. and stuff. Huh. So it would have been Mysterio the entire time. Okay. But they never made Spider-Man yeah. 4, so. Yeah. I think I saw something for this scene, too, where um, he was supposed to actually web Bruce Campbell and then walk into the play, but he was going to walk in literally at the very end scene. Oh. oh. That's yeah, not I, in I don't anything. remember if they like just decided to cut it out or whatever. I think maybe I heard it in commentary or something, but they were supposed to do that. Which that would have been that, funny. Yeah, yeah. I thought that would It probably funny. never got filmed. That was probably just an idea. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that would have been kind of funny. Yeah. Outside, someone is think- singing the Spider-Man theme dun, poorly. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> She's playing it, uh, I believe, is it uh, pic- Pizzicato or is it Staccato? <laughs> When you, play, no when you play a stringed instrument with the strings. Pizzicato. pizzicato. I think that's what it is. It I forget. There's right. Staccato is something and Pizzicato is something, but I believe it might be Pizzicato. <laughs> a Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spider-Man goes to fight more crime in an awkward cut. The cut looked cool in the trailer where he like goes like this and then puts the mask on. Mm-hmm. But you're like, yeah, in the trailer, you think they cut that down. But then when you watch the movie, it's like, wait, this, this, like, what happened in between? I'm like, that, that seemed really fast. Yeah. That always threw me off. It was jarring. Whatever. Uh, but he's swinging around, and then he runs out of webs. Gasp. But his webs are organic. How yeah. could he run out? Well, this is actually has happened to Spider-Man before, where his powers just stop working randomly. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, you know, in the comic, that, well, in the cartoon, I mean, there was an episode, not like his webs stopped working, but he wasn't able to, like, cling to walls and stuff. Yeah. He was having, like, a problem. You could come up with it. That was the whole thing. People were like, oh... If there's no web cartridges, he can't run out. And I like when he runs out. I'm like, well, they figured out they figured out something. I mean, it makes more sense too if you think about it. Like he's going through these this fucking he see. Well, that's the thing is he's it's because he saw after the show, mm-hmm. J. Jonah Jameson's son walks up to Mary Jane and they make mm-hmm. out. And yeah. he's like, oh fuck. So I think the I think it's stress. Yeah, like it's he's basically stressed like, and it's throwing. He can't off. get his spider boner anymore. <laughs> so he's like, you know, he. Uh, so does that mean like the only way to cure him of his spider stuff is just be stressed all the time? Yeah, maybe he's got to take that Viagra. He's got to <laughs> pop a couple blue pills and then he has a boner and he can shoot. I also again. think anyway, <laughs> it's also him like doubting himself and like not wanting to be Spider Man. So like he could be. Like you know he I mean? could be subconsciously yeah. not letting him use his powers, yeah. like self sabotage. I mean, if it's organic though, too, if you think about it, it's like anything else, like uh, any any sort of thing. Like uh, you know, if you have like a, a panic attack and all of a sudden you're shaking and mm. or you or or you can't like uh, you know you get lockjaw or something. It's kind of like that. Like you think it happens to spiders? 
I don't know. You think a spider is just having a bad day and it's just like I balls. don't think a spider knows the concept of a bad day. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's all just a, this kind of sentient being that's like, oh, I no, love bugs. Like, wait a minute. Spiders, like their webs get ruined all the time and they got to rebuild them all yeah. the time. They probably they probably have a lot of bad days. They're like, fuck, I'm stressed. Also, too, I got to make my web and then they just fall. <laughs> if you think about time being relative to like our time and then a spider's time, like the, the spider building a web over the course of a day is like us building something over the course of a week. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's probably like, oh, God damn it. Like, a week's <laughs> worth of work. I don't know. I got to start all over again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like time to shoot some more of that fucking shit out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so Spider-Man gets into an elevator with, uh, what's that actor? Hal name? Sparks. Hal Sparks. From uh, I Love the 80s and Queer as Folk. Yes, he was in a lot of things at that point. Yeah. Theatrical cut, hilarious. He gets in there. It's awkward. Tries to make small talk. He wants to get off the elevator. Funny. Yeah. Extended cut. Fucking cringe. I see. I don't know anything about the extended he's cut. He's supposed to. Be, I think he's supposed to be like a PR guy, and he wants Spider Man to be his client. He's like, we can oh. do this. I'm, I'm spitballing. A um, you could do a, a men's cologne called Thwip. And it goes on and on and on. And the only funny part of it is he's like, here, take my card. And Spider-Man goes, I don't have pockets. That's the only funny part of it. Huh. Huh. So I guess they cut it that way and they went, that's <laughs> terrible. Let's do this a different yeah, way. Someone was probably like, Yo, this sucks. I wouldn't have even put it in the extended cut because it was pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, that guy never really, like, I don't know what else he did other than those two. Th like, I remember mostly from, uh, what's it called, from I Love the 80s. He was one of the funniest guys, him and Michael Ian Black on that show. And then they were pretty never good. saw them again. Yeah. Uh, actually, around this time is when they did, like, I Love, they did, like, a weekly version of it. Yeah, so they 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 started doing like the other ones. So they did like I love the '90s also. And I love the '70s, but I think they also did like I loved last week or something. Yeah. I love the '90s sucked because they had the Pepsi girl, mm. and uh, they have her talking about things. And I'm like, yo, that kid was like born then. Like, I she was doing the Pepsi commercials when she was oh, like, oh yeah. Like, there's no way she remembers like you know 1991 that Pepsi well. girl. I don't know. Mm. Maybe Pretty she Spears took over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Free Britney. I hope like she, she made a fuck yet? ton of money and is just like living now. it up. Does anyone now? care now? Do they jump on to the There's still people that say like the hashtag thing, but they've moved on to the next new thing. Ah. Uh, is that you know, typical internet. Is that YouTube girl with the, the boyfriend who killed her and then he got eaten by alligators? Oh yeah, huh? that's awesome that Gabby he got eaten Petito, by alligators. Is that the new Petito, thing? Petito, yeah. Oh, oh, no, people moved on from that. Brian too. Laundry or whatever that douchebag. Oh, yeah. What's the new thing? I think um, Kyle Rittenhouse is the new thing. Yeah. Actually. Let's not even bring that up. Yeah. Let's yeah. keep so, moving. <laughs> Let's keep moving for like, the comments probably, section. Yeah, you probably explodes. do not want to talk about these things on your show. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Peter tries to call Mary Jane and explain the whole thing. Yeah. Like he only has one quarter, so his voicemail gets cut off. Yeah. And I love the scene when he's telling her everything, but the phone's off and he's just yeah. telling her. I fucking love he's that like, scene. I just want to tell you that I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. I also enjoy when she's like listening to him talk to whatever she's sitting there being all like passive aggressive. Like, yeah. bingo. Yeah. Yeah, he's throws her like, keys at it. I know like, I disappointed you. Like, I do, he's I do bearing love that he, his soul. I do love that he throws... Um, Bruce Campbell under the bus. Yeah. He's like, there was yeah, an usher. Yeah, he is a real dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole last part. Because then that also, too, makes it like, okay, Peter, you fucked up. Like, yeah. You, you really, she don't She don't want to hear that. Yeah. But, it's uh, real shitty when people try to blame other people for their mistakes <laughs> and failures. I think this movie has a lot of great scenes like that. This being one of them where mm. it's, it's super, like, that, that's the thing is, like, there really aren't very many super action. The, the action parts of this movie are amazing yeah and they're huge and everything's great about them but there aren't very many of them but this movie's more about the characters than anything and it's uh every single scene like you don't really notice you're watching a superhero movie sometimes it's, yeah but yeah. You, you you care it feels like because you know we watched the first one and it, this is not too long after it's like mm -hmm. well i feel like a, reminds me of empire i know this is a cliche thing to say but like empire strikes back we're like a lot of the fun parts of that movie is like Han Solo dealing with like the ship, yeah, and Luke Being going through the mud and like Leia. seeing how the characters are interacting because you know them now. Yeah, and there aren't these space battles going on all the time. Not and, all the and, time, no, no, yeah. no. And it's fine that there are battles, but yeah. it's just like, well, I actually now that I'm established with these characters, what are some new things they're going to go into? Yeah, it's I, I really like that, and um, you know too, like the, the there's the dramatic irony of the fact that you know we know that he's Spider Man, but no one else does, and yeah. he just. 
he can't say anything, but but everybody's a dick to him, you know? Yeah. Like, if everyone knew he was Spider-Man, everybody would be super cool to him. Yeah. But the, but he can't. He can't tell anyone. Uh, the next day, um, Dr. Octopus, Otto, yeah. is uh, going to show off his fusion thing. It's, it's going to make a miniature sun. Yeah. That's it's unlimited energy. Unlimited like energy, yeah. and you need tritium. Yeah. And there's only 25 pounds of it in Oscorp had in some. the whole world, yeah. And and this is where like Harry went from being pretty cool at Peter's party to yeah. all of a sudden Harry's like a douchebag. Nobel Prize. Yeah, like um, he's like annoying by now. Yeah, uh the rubber band joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> Such a dead <laughs> joke. It is like so terrible. Yeah, it was I, I think it's funny though. I laughed. It's yeah, so I did awkward. too. I'm like, why is this? I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. And everyone's just politely so laughing. Like, uh -huh. We lost a large roll of $20 bills in a rubber band because we found the rubber band. Yeah, they're like, huh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, Meanwhile, I, <laughs> actually, Peter legit laughed. Yeah. Harry was just kind of like, <laughs> yeah. <like>, no. <laughs> Talking about my money. <laughs> uh, Otto shows them the arms, the tentacles, or whatever he calls yeah. them. Uh, so I believe, does it say back here? Hold on. Uh, yeah. So it says music by Danny Elfman, but I think Christopher Young was working with him on this. Okay. I think he gets more credit in the third movie when he kind of took over. Gotcha. Uh, so Christopher Young did the Hellraiser theme. Yeah. And Dr. Octopus's theme sounds like the Hellraiser theme. Okay. Like it's very, yeah. when like the arms are coming up, it sounds very similar to the Hellraiser music. Yeah. Uh, the, like, I guess the vocals, like the whoo thing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, which kind of makes sense. Sam Raimi's a horror guy. He got a horror musician to be in there, mm -hmm. so it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it's so technically pretty horrifying too. Oh yeah. Well, oh, don't worry. We're oh, building yeah, up yeah. to the Evil no, Dead for scene. Sure. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So the arms are a uh, mixture of puppets and CGI. They're mm -hmm. mostly CGI. They they say they're oh the puppets with rods, and I'm like, I think they look really good. They though. look great. I think that's they look the thing. Awesome. So like, this was the time where like hard surface modeling was like really good. It was or like yeah. like uh, organic tissue was still a little bit rough with 3D, but yeah. you can make a realistic robot looking mm. thing. Yes, yes. Um, and I will say I've said this before. Like even if you have a practical effect on set and you change it you replace it with the digital model. Mm -hmm. The fact that you had it on set, you know how to light it, you know how it's textured. Yeah. So they had them on set and they like redid them, uh, which was smart. And I saw the trailer for the new one. I'm like, ah, everything looks fake. Um, so yeah, the arms, are they have their own AI in them. Yep. And they're so sophisticated, but, and they're like, how won't they like control your brain? Yeah. And he's like, nope, because I put this tiny little plastic boy inside of him that's that can that <laughs> that keeps me good. This little inhibitor chip yeah. that's not protected at all. That will <laughs> never get destroyed. Literally, someone could pinch it, and yeah. then I'd be at the mercy it, of yeah, these arms. It's made of plastic, and it's like <laughs> it's purple. Oh my god, it's bright purple. <laughs> It's like in in Contra where it's like the it's like I'm a giant robot monster, but I have a huge glowing red <laughs> fucking thing to shoot at, so you know where to kill me. <laughs> uh, I've been playing Resident Evil Nemesis, and I forgot like Nemesis is hard. It's like yeah, at one point it's like why did they design it that? Yeah, way? why did it, like they're like we have the perfect killing machine. Make sure its heart is on the outside <laughs> of its body and it's not protected and it's very fleshy. Like. <laughs> Uh, Otto fires up the fusion reactor, but the magnetism is unstable. Which also, too, like, there's a lot of fucking metal in this building, it Otto. Really like, is. you didn't think, like, maybe... Why are they, like, I know it's a superhero movie <laughs> and they have to have the action in New York, but realistically, they'd be like, you're not doing this in the city. You're yeah. going out into, like, the desert or He's, something. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, an expensive part of the city, too, because, like, he definitely makes money. Oh, that apartment's yeah. fucked, like, and it's, like, it's probably someone's, like, brownstone, like, one million dollar, and they're like, my apartment's fucked. What the hell? Yeah, man? but it's like, wait, you're doing a fusion <laughs> reactor inside a building yeah. in Manhattan? And also, speaking of like, we, we talked about insurance shit in yeah. the last one. Imagine that insurance. Well, my client was building a sun, <laughs> you know, and he exploded my apartment. It's like, I'd be like, yeah, we're, no, that's not covered. You built a sun? The fuck's wrong with you? You're worse than that lady who said there was a goblet yeah. in her house. We yeah. all know God. she was furiously <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> her entire house exploded. <laughs> oh my God. She said it was a pumpkin bomb, and I thought her Sibian blew up. Yeah. That's what oh I thought. Oh my God, her Sibian. 
don't show a picture of a Scythian. We'll all get fired. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get in trouble. <laughs> HR will call us. <laughs> so, yeah, the uh, Spider-Man comes in. He saves Harry. Harry does not appreciate it. Yeah. He, he pulls the plug on the machine and, like, Otto not gets... Not before... Otto gets electrocuted and then the little thing. Well, and his and wife gets glass. Before yeah. that, the, okay, that doesn't make any sense. I get the metal coming forward. Yeah. But then the glass is also moving forward with it. I think it. it's because yeah. it started pulling everything at that point, too. Because it was getting so strong. Because didn't it do it at the end, no, too? Did it start pulling other just, stuff? It was only metal. pulling, like, metal. Oh, I think so. It's like it's shattered, and I guess maybe the force of it all getting pulled is yeah, maybe. Through, through, through a bunch of glass. It is cool to see her reflection in the glass, so you know, like, what I wanted happened. to see her cut to ribbons, though. Like, I wanted it yeah, to I come back to her, and she's just a pile yeah. of gore. So when they show her body, and they, like, flip over the thing real quick, I thought that, like, maybe they would show, like, how yeah. fucked up she was, but it was, like, nothing. She's, like, totally I'm fine. I was like, you're faking it. Also, I think Jin from Lost is in this. The Asian guy that goes like, everything is stable. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. him. Which I think he's also in the Eric Bana Hulk. That guy showed up in a lot uh, of things. He's in a lot of things. I've never yeah. seen that one. I, I'm i an apologist for it. Um, so yeah, everything goes to shit. Yeah. Rosie's dead. Yep. Otto's inhibitor chip is fried. Yep. He, the arms are fused to him. It's a bad time. Uh, Harry's not thrilled. Harry's like, I'm ruined. Ah. Yeah, he's like, even, even though I still I have, have a giant fucking house. I have Spider-Man. nothing. Only Spider-Man. It's like, was Oscorp only focused on this? <laughs> and then, oh, uh, he saved your life. And he's like, oh, he humiliated me Yeah, he humiliated me by touching me. Touching me. And, and he like, pulls what? out his sunglasses and yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> he was so weird in this so one. So dramatic. Yeah. yeah. So the doctors later that night are trying to remove the arms yep. from Otto. Well, if you talk shop class. Yeah, <laughs> that's how they like react too. Like all the doctors, like duh, duh, duh. like, and this man is like fucking fused to a weird ass machine, and yes. everybody's making. So jokes. he's out of it, but the arms, yeah, they snap back, and it turns into fucking evil. It dead. turns into it's, evil dead. It's, it's, it's like literally like, like shot for shot some sequences from Evil yeah. Dead. The scene with the when crash gets zoom, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like there's the crash zooms, there's the scraping on the there's, floor. There's the one where it's like it's like a still shot of the tentacle going this way, but the background is whooshing, yeah. like in Evil Dead too, with the eyeball flying. Yeah. Or, or even like you know uh, what's it called like Dark Man like this yeah. is then all of a sudden like this movie gets very Sam Raimi yeah that's what I like about he it he picks up the the chainsaw yeah that part's awesome and then like they all get fucking horror I remember people yep. being scared of this scene because it's like a horror fight it's it pretty is, fucking yeah. brutal yeah there's just no blood yeah. yeah and there's no music or anything so it's just, they did a great you hear job the screaming yeah. yeah I love uh, the part when it's like uh, the the four of them going at the one guy and yeah like, and, they, like, it, and the, all the pictures yeah, come he was together to solve yeah, yeah. Real quick. I love that part um. Otto wakes up and sees what happens, and he screams, no. No! Yeah. And then the no! arms the also like, scream oh. no with him. He was like this. People got, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, like but they're that. also screaming. I think that's what threw people off. Like, why are they making sounds? Yeah, <laughs> they all like, did too. They made like Velociraptor sounds, yeah. like or, or like uh, the yeah. the Dilophosaurus. It sounded like almost mm. from Jurassic Park. So he he breaks out. He's just tits out in the street. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There's a lot of nips in this movie. You get so it's for everybody. You get you get the Alfred Merlina nipples, and you get the Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. Did you get that shot of Tobey Maguire taking a shirt off? He's like super filled. Yo, boobies, nipples. uh, Tobey Maguire uh, was in real good shape for this movie. Yeah, I aspire to attain. He's a good looking dude. I like Tobey Maguire. He has very pretty eyes. He very pretty eyes. He cries like a fucking weirdo though. He's like (laughs) whenever he cries or whatever. (laughs) He's like, (laughs) what are you more attracted to? Toby McGuire's eyes or Alfred Molina's man tits? Man tits. <laughs> Jesus what Christ. If, what, if it was, what if it was uh, uh, Alfred Molina coming out and his man tits were Toby McGuire's <laughs> eyes? I would get in right there. <laughs> You'd be like, get it. I all, would furiously I masturbate. Would, <laughs> be like, Albert, all four of those tentacles, get them all in. You gotta, then you got to take them over to Tony's house so, <laughs> so you, can have the, you can have the complete <laughs> with the experience Bruce- <laughs> with the Bruce Willis headboard. I just pushed Tony out of his bed. <laughs> like, excuse me, I need this. Just like, lift I the mattress sleeping. up and dump what? him out a window. Alfred Molina, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why is why is Toby Mugar's eyes on your chest? That's a that's a fucking nightmare what scenario. A strange thing to wake up to. I would imagine you just go right back to sleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, I like the miniature for Doctor Octopus's hideout. This is yeah. when Hollywood still used miniatures. Mm. 
I don't know what it was. Hollywood finally figured out a way to make great miniatures and composite them seamlessly. And I was like, wow, like the Lord of the Rings trilogy, this. And then they went, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Literally, Christopher Nolan is like the only A-list director that uses miniatures that I can think of. Oh, yeah. Everyone else gave up. Even Peter Jackson for The Hobbit gave up on them. Like, why did we give up on this? They look so nice. And we figured out a way to make them look real. Like, why? Right when we got it right, why did everyone give up? It pisses me off yeah, so it's much. Yeah, weird. Stupid. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I mentioned to this, uh, mentioned to this, mentioned this earlier to you two, the scene with uh, Doc Ock in his little hideout. Um, number one, the music's great. Yep. I yes. love the music here so much. It's, oh my God. Um, but his little tentacle boys. You notice the color oh. change in the middle. Yeah. Because it starts out as white, because that shows that Dr. Octavius is in control, and then it turns red because it shows that it's... But yeah. they slowly turn red. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's so what that's, I like about it. That was, yeah. was cool, yeah. yeah. You see he's still kind of like fighting it, and then it's just like, yeah. no. Yeah. They start to turn red, they go down, and then they come back up, and they're all red. Because he's yeah. all like, I can't steal, that's a crime. And it's like, but the real crime would be mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. your data getting stolen by governments, and this is brought to you by ExpressVPN. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Surfshark VPN. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. Oh, Surfshark VPN. <laughs> Surfshark VPN. <laughs> Um, how heavy are those arms, by the way? Like, I mean, well, I'm guessing that they're like self sustained They're they're kind of like probably gyroscopic saying, when, when, and all when that. When all shit. four of them are in the air, I would well, be I mean, like, he, oh, he like, has the clamp around himself. Yeah, in the I chair. guess. But like, if his if his leg hurt, like, wouldn't he be like, oh god, I'm falling? They probably. I'd imagine <laughs> no, that they they, they, use they one as a leg. Yeah, I'd imagine like yeah. that they actually hold themselves up in some sort of way, almost like. You but know, there's like, times where all four of them are up. I'm like, those seem heavy. Yeah, I don't know. And he doesn't have a lot of core strength. I've no. seen. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of good upper body strength. I do like how he looks bruised. Oh, yeah, from mm -hmm. the thing that I like that. Yeah, a lot. It's kind of grimy, like the burn and stuff. Like yeah. that yeah. has to hurt. Um, so we at here. Oh, but before that scene, there was actually a scene um, uh, where they're trying to think of his name, and mm -hmm. they was it Ted Raimi comes up with Doctor Octopus and a shot down, and then five seconds later, Jay Jonas like, what about Doctor Octopus? Yeah, yeah. They mentioned Doctor Strange. Yep, but he's and taken. They, they say it's taken. So do you think we're gonna see? The Tobey Maguire universe Doctor Strange in No Way Home. That would be interesting. Who, who would it be? Would, would it, it be, be Benedict Cumberbatch or would it be someone completely different? That'd be fun. Did they have someone in mind at that time? What if it's Do Robert you know? Downey Jr. Because they kind of look really alike. That'd be really funny. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, and he's like, Tony. And he's like, what? That's one thing that worries me about the new one. Uh, so there's a little bit of gold on his uh, on his arms. But the new one, they look like they're red and gold. I'm like, please don't tell me that this Doctor Octopus was related to a Iron Man in a different universe. Like, the last two movies, the villains are all a result of Iron Man being a yeah. dick. And I'm like, okay, two movies is enough. We don't need that anymore. Let's uh, let's yeah. do something else. Let's do something else. Huh. Uh, so I'm a little worried about that. I also don't know how he's alive, if he's just a Dr. Octopus from another universe. Well, the, you know like. what it could be is, I mean, also, too, he did create a sun and then go into the ocean. Like, maybe he just never, and maybe he got explain, transported how somewhere. How explain the Green Goblin showing up? And Sandman. We'll find out. We'll Sandman? Find out. Yeah. <laughs> Sandman. Sandman. He fights Spider-Man. Is he like... <laughs> Sandman. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Adam Sandman. Uh, this scene is also where you get the J. Jonah Jameson laughing meme. Yep. And Cut. the squirrels? Yeah. You take a picture of squirrels? Cut to laughing Sirs? meme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he tells him he wants him to go to the high society party. Yeah. And take photos. Um, Aunt May is trying to get a loan at a bank uh, with Joel McHale. It looks yep, like Joel McHale. That it is, is Joel yeah. McHale. Okay. That's Joel McHale. Uh, but she gets rejected. She can't even get that toaster. No. Nah. She also kicks him. Yeah, why did she kick Joel McHale? She didn't mean to kick him. She meant to kick him. She, so she's lying about giving piano lessons. Yep. Okay. Again. And Peter is the one who likes goes, you are? And then she goes to kick him, but she accidentally kicks Joel okay, McHale. Okay, I was going to say, because he was like, ow. Like, I'd be like, ma'am, get the fuck out of my bank. You kicked me in the shin. Uh, but things are getting worse, because fucking Doc Ock shows up. and Yeah. Starts no one noticed him come in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just there in front of the vault. Yeah. I like he's just gotten some nice wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> he's got yeah, two different leather jackets <laughs> with a detachable flap. Where are those arms hiding? Are they just... Hovering around them, it makes no sense. I don't know, actually. I guess they like wrapped around like phone books, like if you're in prison. I guess. Uh, but yeah, he gets to the bank, he starts stealing all the gold coins that yeah. they keep in the giant vault because this is a comic Did book. Did he put movie. cash in there too? I thought he put cash too. There might have been cash in there too. 
Uh, but I do like the scene. This is where, because we talked about this Spider-Man's not as quippy. Yeah. Uh, we get a couple quips in this where mm -hmm. he like throws the change. Like, here's your change. And he's yep. like, you're annoying me. And he's like, I have a knack for that. Yep. Oh, I like, also enjoy the part where uh, Peter runs off because obviously he's going to turn into Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> John McCall, what did he say? Uh, he's like, your kid's a real hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. before that, he goes, thanks for opening a Super Savers account. Yeah. I'm like, get it. It's a superhero movie. Yeah. I get it. That was for the kids in the theater. Yeah, yeah. Who had to keep reminding yeah. me who Spider-Man was. Yeah, they there. were like, yeah. it's super because he's a superhero and needs a bank account. Were you the kid in the theater it here? I was. I was child. <laughs> I was child. You've aged horribly. Those I was kids, child. <laughs> those kids look like they were eight when I was like 13, 14. Wow. I'm only, I'm only 22. <laughs> Some people don't age like milk, Tony. Yeah. Um, uh, this fight almond scene, milk. Yeah. This fight scene's awesome. Uh, when he takes Aunt May hostage. Yeah. And he's running around. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like... Um, at some point, he like throws her, and she's on an angel. Yeah, uh, and she like, catches it with the umbrella and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Is this? Oh, this is this is after where he like drops her. And he goes butterfingers. Yeah. So he says, "Okay, I, I was gonna bring this up. I forgot." He when he says butterfingers, he goes butterfingers like that. Like he yeah, gives like a little, a little wiggle bit. head. He's like butterfingers, butterfingers, butterfingers. <laughs> butterfingers. <laughs> so like, so is it the AI that has like suddenly made him so cruel? I guess and he so. Doesn't I don't know. Like he just got really mean also, like, for no reason. Why did he program the AI to be a fucking asshole? Like he's yeah, like, right? like he's like oh I'm gonna program this AI and it's why like, did he program their eyes to turn red when they're evil? <laughs> The I just think so, it was just a lighting thing and but, also like movie. But why program your your weird thing that you need to keep a fusion reaction in evil? Like it's like, well, I need to make this thing so it it knows to hold the fusion reaction in. But I also, you know, I want a little spice. I'm gonna make it fucking <laughs> <little> evil. Spice. <laughs> like I like I like that one has like a blade that shoots out of yeah. it. And the other one has another tentacle that comes like, out. I'm like, why does he need that? He's like, I gotta. I might need to stab the sun to see what happens <laughs> exactly. when you stab why? the sun. What is he stabbing? I don't know. He's like, and then I need another yeah. a tentacle so he can tickle the sun. Maybe he <laughs> wanted to use it for something else too. Like, Maybe yeah. He's like, know. I'm gonna stab my wife with these arms eventually, <laughs> and I'm gonna tickle her. Forget the <laughs> forget the glass. I'm yeah. gonna stab her myself. I do <laughs> like I do like that Aunt May gets a hit in on. Dr. Octopus. Yeah. Although it was kind of upset because I like that. Uh, I think it happened in the comic, but in the cartoon, like Dr. Octopus is dating Aunt May for a bit. Oh, oh yeah. I always yeah. wanted to see that in the movie. That'd be fun. You know, what's kind of funny is like his whole thing is like, I'm trying to create the sun. I'm trying to do this. And it's like, yo, you could have just sold those fucking arms to the <laughs> those themselves are a medical and, yeah. and, and technical marvel. Speaking of uh, dating, like Aunt May dating uh, mm. Dr. Octopus. What is it? Um, the female Doc Ock in uh, Into Live. the Spider-Verse. Yeah, she's Live. like, oh, yeah. my friends call me Liv. We have a review for that yeah. on this channel. We she says, my friends call me Liv. And then Aunt May calls her Liv. Yep. Lesbians. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, it's Projecting. Liv. Projecting. Let me live. Okay. <laughs> I See, I, uh, I have a thing for cartoon Dr. Octopus. From, so do from, I. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. They revealed. Oh, Catherine sorry. Han. <laughs> yeah. I no, but not like. Did you Catherine watch Wandavision yet? No, no, She's I haven't seen it. it. Yeah. She's really No, good. but I I just I They're don't know. They're making a spin-off of that. Oh, cool. With her. Oh, really? Nice. Hmm. Yeah, she was the best part of that. Oh, going back to the part with the um angel where she thinks she's gonna fall with the yeah. umbrella and she just couldn't let go. Like, I like that. Go. I like that. <laughs> oh, and I definitely meant Spider Verse, not nineties cartoon Doctor yeah. Octopus, like with the orange oh, and, and this was another scene where Doctor Octopus's like claws are going through the wall and they cut to a busty girl screaming at yeah. the camera. And I'm like, that is Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's like, Oops. you know, it's New York. I guess. Yeah. There's a lot of women with boobs in New York, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> real real brave say what a hot take from Kieran yeah. there's a lot of women with boobs in New York <laughs> yeah I've been to Times Square they're just out yeah it's there's legal just, there. there's like women in um, Central Park also yeah. Stan Lee cameo yep. sorry I, I wanted to interrupt oh, yeah, about yeah, the yeah. boob yeah. thing to mention that Stan Lee the creator of Spider-Man was in this yep we will talk about boobs it's again when the rock well, rocks. It's the debris. From the, yeah, debris from yeah. the buildings falling. Which is exactly what he did in the previous movie. Yeah. He saved someone from falling debris. Did he grab a busty girl? Isn't that what he? He's he grabbed. I can't remember who he grabbed. Yeah. They're like, wait, all right, Stan. Here's the busty girl <laughs> for you to grab, <laughs> Stanley. The CGI models for Spider-Man and Doctor Octopus when they're falling, not you, the best. You know, Stanley's Stanley's name is Stanley, but it's Stanley Lee. Stanley Lee. 
That's funny. If you think about it. I'm trying to talk about the CGI. <laughs> the CGI models are not the best. I still think it aged well for how it is. They yeah. don't overuse it like Matrix Reloaded did. Well, However, yeah. CGI Dr. Octopus hair never looks like live action yeah. Dr. Octopus hair. Like it looks fuzzier, right? Yeah. I think it's like okay, but the there is a part later in the movie where like when he's grabbing onto uh Mary Jane. Oh that yeah, looks he looks like awful. Shit. He Mary looks Jane rubbery. looks terrible. I think Mary Jane looks worse. Mm. I I know. I always my eye gets drawn to her at the part, and she's mm. like, ah, like mm. freaking yeah. out. It just looks weird to me. Ugh. But yeah, he uh, Doctor Octopus gets away. He saves yeah. Aunt May. I think he's like, we really well, showed maybe him. Maybe I'll just like, hey, I'll eat some hay. I just may. Like, what do you say? <laughs> I like where he's like, oh, we really showed him, and she's like, we. Yeah. It's like, all right, calm down, lady. You yeah, you got you hit one hit on him. I fucking flung myself across two fucking buildings with my web. Are you done? Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the party, Peter can't get any food. Oh my god, this party is the most awkward fucking it's party so for awkward. Peter Parker. It, it's like one hit after another. He he uh he can't get a drink. He can't get food. He he goes uh, to take a picture, but leaves a lens cap on. And when he gets it off, they're already gone. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> my, my favorite part of it is. Uh, fucking Harry bitch slapping him twice in front of a whole crowd of yeah. people and then it's like oh by the way after you know they, they all saw this even yeah. J. Jonah James' son's like I I proposed to Mary Jane by the way all, it's and like, this is oh. when he's this is also where he finds out that she's dating his yeah. boss's son and, and also I do love when J. Jonah James is <laughs> like get a picture of me with this person get a picture of me, yeah. get a picture of me the mayor and his, and his girlfriend and then he goes I mean wife and you see the mayor like uh oh and it's yeah. like oh no Oof. It is the most awkward fucking It's thing. straight up, I, but you might as well have just ripped Peter Parker's nutsack mm. right from his legs in this part. Like, how do you recover? I would go home and probably cry all night yeah. if I was Peter Parker. I love that they're no, just I'd like... I'd swing around all night. I would, I'd be like, fuck this, I'm spy, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, they're like Jameson. Is that what he does? Yeah, I yeah, guess They're so, like right? Jameson, he's the first person do. to play football on the moon. Yeah. I mean, this Jameson is luckier than, uh, did you see Venom? No, not really. The first, oh, Venom, the first Venom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Jameson did. dies in that. Jameson? Yeah, when the when the shuttle crashes and the symbiotes get out, you see oh. the guy monitoring. They find a dead astronaut. They're like, that's Jameson. It's like, so he's dead oh, in that no. universe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Could you imagine going to a party and like all this shit? You know, you're like already having a shitty night and everything, but then your friend walks up and just fucking bitch slaps you in front of like 50 to 60 people. He's also very drunk. He is, but still... You could like it's that thing weird. is too. He could just punch him in the throat and like yeah. collapse. He'd be like, Ooh! like just. It's dead. weird that Jameson's son's in this because I thought like, okay, well, Spider-Man three, the astronaut will play into Venom, but that's not how it happens. No, and then it's like, okay, well, maybe he's going to be a werewolf in the next film, and then that doesn't happen. I'm like, this is a weird character to introduce. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I could have just been just, anybody. I guess it's just because like, how can you kind of like kick? Parker more like you, you know, I guess the, so it, it's like it's like you got to break Peter Parker in this movie I know? just would have made it that different Jameson brother like this is Bill Jameson Bill Jameson He's a fucking asshole <laughs> <laughs> um Spider-Man loses webs again yeah and falls and then he goes to a hippie doctor yeah now in the extended cut I think they explain that this is a doctor at the university okay who like is friends with Dr. Connors mm -hmm. So like that kind of explains why he's not like a super professional. He like just works with like you know college kids and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But I always bother him like, why is the doctor dressed like that? And why is he being such a fucking weird? Yeah. <laughs> um. But basically, I like how Peter's just like in my dreams, I'm Spider Man. But it's a friend of mine's dream. The yeah. doctor's like, okay, well you're Spider Man. Obviously. Yeah. And I'll, he's like, like then he I, just goes with it. He's like, I did your physical. I held your. I cupped your balls in my hand. And I saw your weird sploogy wrists. I know you're Spider-Man. I love how earlier the uh, the <laughs> your guy all stuck to my hand when I tried to pull him. <laughs> I love how earlier the guy from the Daily Bugle. It's implied that he knows too. He's like, I heard Spider-Man was there, and he's like staring at Peter, and Peter's like, oh, yeah. So there's people who have like caught on. Well, also too, like you think those Elizabeth dumbass Banks kids on the street on. would have. No. The kids no. who see the, you know, the guy almost get run over and does a fucking 80 foot flip, but they're they like, just think he's an acrobat. Maybe he's just an acrobat. No. Wow. I'd be like, that guy's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I know you won't believe me, but... Yeah, so he he tells the doctor, he's like, I feel like this is like, maybe you're not supposed to be Spider-Man. Maybe you're not supposed to do this shit. No, yeah. You think about that? And the guy's like, I don't care. Uh, but then he has a weird fantasy where he's talking to Uncle Ben. Yeah. Did you cry at this scene? No, this, this scene does get scene? me a little no. bit, though. It didn't make me cry, though. 
cried. I will <laughs> say uh, there is a scene in this movie where I, I consistently tear up in this movie. I'm I think I know what kidding. it is. Yeah. The part with Uncle Ben was kind of ruined for me when it was the weird zoom in and he's no more. I'm Spider-Man. No more. Yeah. <laughs> They're no in a more. white void just having a conversation. I'm Spider-Man no more. In the no Evil more. Dead car. <laughs> I do like the the suit in the trash can yeah, that's almost taken classic. directly yeah. from Spider the comic Spider-Man no more. Spider -Man no more. Yeah. Uh so that was pretty cool. Um <laughs> We get a we get a happy montage. Yeah, <laughs> falling on my head. <laughs> and up, Mike. Peter Parker's a real. I want to talk about the giant bite he took of that hot dog. Oh, yeah. yeah, like that was half the hot dog. Yeah, and he's right? just ignoring the cops. He's like, whatever. My, I I love the fucking wheel falling out the window. And he's like, because <laughs> I've so I that's kind of happened to me in my dorm one yeah. time. Uh, my roommate we, we used to have a our books were on their window, oh, and no. my roommate opened the window, and he was like. Oh, someone just fell out. And I'm like, what was it? And I used to have these glass paperweights that weighed like five pounds. And all of a sudden we just hear, goom, like that. And we were like, and we looked and the glass paperweight fell and went through uh, like a fucking air conditioner unit in the building. <laughs> oh and it was like my destroyed God. It. And we just closed the window and never <laughs> spoke of it again. And the next day it there was a, it was a store. It was closed. Like they had to close the store for the day because they had to fix the fucking HVAC. <laughs> oh you don't think they were like, how did a glass it paper fell from it? the? We were on like the eighth floor of this building when it happened, and it just fucking he, he just went, oh, uh, someone fell, and I was like, oh, what was it? And it took like a few seconds for it to hit, but it hit and was it echoed through. You could hear it like it went through the city. We because it was like it was like. <laughs> Oh so, my god. So it's a fun, happy montage. Everything's going well for him. Yeah. He's like, he, he trips at one point and has to put his glasses on because he yes. thought that he can't see. Uh, but then I love the freeze frame where he's like, Yeah, I like that too. But then you think blurry. it's going to fade to black, but then it just picks it up. Just picks up. <laughs> it's <laughs> such a weird. <laughs> it, it is. It's weird, but it's something that you remember. You I don't, don't know get why. weird stuff like that anymore. Nah, they don't um, do that. Peter finally makes it to the play yep. for Mary Jane. Uh, and he confesses to her that he's ready to settle he down. Yeah. <laughs> he says a weird thing, though. He's like, if you punch me, I bleed. It's like, what? Yeah, and then he tries to quote poetry to her. Was that the poetry? <laughs> was that in this scene? I, yeah. I think so, yeah. I didn't like, know the poetry was at the party, he starts saying. And she's like, stop. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he she's did like, do yeah, it there. He yeah. tries to do it there, and she's like, uh. Which she's I would have like, been whatever like, that means. like, dude, Peter, what the fuck? Yeah. What even is this, man? Are you uh, on hallucinogens? So, yeah, she's not quite sure yet. Mm -hmm. It's a tough sell. Yeah. Uh, and then someone drops off Spider Man's suit to J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. And you've you've never seen this scene. People like who have a brown paper bag from yeah. Blooming was it Bloomingdale's? Yeah, the big is? brown yeah. bag it says people, on. People um people who haven't seen the extended cut have at least seen this scene where J. Jonah Jameson's wearing the Spider Man. I've never yeah, you you were yeah. talking about I've never seen that. Yeah, it's like he's like so he's wearing the Spider Man suit. He actually looks pretty damn good in the Spider Man mm -hmm. suit. He's in good shape. And he's just in his office pretending to be Spider-Man. And, like, you just see the employees, like, staring at him and they, like, close the blinds. That's funny. <laughs> I would do the same thing if I found Spider-Man yeah, suit. I would totally put it on. Um, like, it smells like trash and ass, though. Because <laughs> it's probably... <laughs> uh, Spider-Man just lets a mugging happen. Yeah. So, look, I, I get what the scene was going for. Yeah. I, a normal person, would be like, uh, someone help? Yeah, I would have like, yelled. I would have been like, cops! Yeah, Please? I'm calling the cops. I would have done that. Someone yeah. help. Instead, Anything? he's just like he's like it's a whole lot of not my problem. Yeah, he and walks he away. I going. forget the part where that's my problem. He said. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot the lesson he and learned. Then, and then oh those God. guys went on to kill Aunt May in the next scene. And then he's like, "Why do I keep doing this?" <laughs> that was in the extended cut. Do you ever think he like hunted that guy down and apologized to him? I highly doubt. It. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm really sorry. I let you get bugged. And he's like, I'm the shocker now. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh no. I the guy's like, I don't know them. who the fuck you are. I was getting my ass kicked, dude. <laughs> and now I'm really into shocking yeah. people. <laughs> that guy probably like and Peter Parker's like, that was real personal. He's like, no, not like that. I got these things. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> She's like, I'm the shocker, dude. <laughs> like <laughs> The the yellow suited bank robber. He's like, no, I'm the like sex pervert shocker. -Man. I hate that other shocker. Yeah, <laughs> Spider Man goes like this, and then he does this. Like he's like, pew pew, shoots his shocks. 
<laughs> We're ruining Spider-Man forever. I know, what? everybody's gonna be like, I can't watch Spider-Man now without thinking of Aunt May <laughs> fucking rubbing one out! And like... <laughs> um... And, and Bruce Willis and Alfred Molina's boobs that are fucking <laughs> Tobey Maguire. <laughs> this movie uh, has heart and Aunt May is a saint. So yeah, he confesses to Aunt May that uh, he's partially responsible for the events that led to... Yeah. he's like, not. He's no, not, but, he, but it's but the fact yeah. that he lied to her and didn't tell no, her. No, yeah, I got that whatever, but like, damn, the way she took that would have been yeah, like... She like well, because it's away. a thing where it's just like, well, if you weren't lying, you might not have... If you had not done that, he would not have been there to get shot. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, obviously, it's the guy who shot him's fault, but it's like, well, if you were being a little bit more honest, we could have avoided those events. That's yeah. why I said he's responsible for the events that led up to, mm. not the actual crime itself. And then she like leaves and goes upstairs to... Get her mind off things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Karen. Okay, no more. I'm putting a kibosh okay, okay, okay. on the I'm done. Stuff. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> um, she Harry... went upstairs to masturbate. <laughs> Furiously. Harry's confronted. <laughs> she was Otto. furious at Peter. She was pretty so sure. She went. <laughs> Harry's confronted by Otto. And yeah. he's like, give me that tritium, you dick. Yeah. And he's like, I'll give it to you if you get me Spider-Man. Yeah. And, and he punches him in the face, too. And he grabs why. a drink and sips it. Yeah. I don't know why Otto is just like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to torch you slowly instead. Like, he could just do that. That's true. Like He's like, what? You want me to fight? Sp no. I guess he kind of has it I'm like, let He would just too, hang though. him up. Yeah, I was going to say, he's probably like, mm, well, two birds, one stone. Like, I get what I want. And also, I get rid of this nuisance, too. Yeah. No, I'd be like, hey, son of a bitch, I know it's in this house somewhere. Yeah. Like, so I will you're either going to tell me or I'm throwing you off the fucking balcony. I'm gonna fucking pinch the shit out of you if you don't fucking <laughs> with my little clampy boys. <laughs> um, like, D -d 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 I like that he has to add in things like, don't hurt Peter. Yeah. He's like, just kill Spider-Man, but don't hurt Peter. Don't hurt Peter. Don't hurt Peter! Um, how fucking awful are the NYPD in this movie? Um, if uh, two weeks without Spider-Man makes crime go up 75%. I mean, at the same time, the crime that's going on is a fucking robot arm dude going around. Like, I'm I'm sorry, but... You know what? You know what's annoying? <laughs> they never tell you where Otto is buying all the equipment yeah, from. Yeah, it's like he gets him shipped to him, too. Is it the like, Libyans? Also, is this Back to the like, Future? <laughs> he the gets Libyans? it shipped, and it's like... Uh, the address is, you know, it's like shipping address. The fucking wrecked out building in the middle of a wharf in the water that looks like... You know, a does he have to sign ass. for the boxes? Yeah, like because all the glass. Or yeah, like, what was it? It was like some sort of fucking like it was know, a who, train station in the middle. How of How did water. he even order them? Don't worry about it. Does he have access to the black market? Probably the, like the dark web. He's like he has a Tor browser do the, do, and stuff. Do in the there. tentacles are they linked? He to was the using. Wi don't say that. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna want that. So yeah, the crime is up seventy five percent. I guess. Yeah. What the fuck was New York like before Spider-Man? Holy shit. I don't know. Um, Normal? Yeah. yeah. Peter sees building on fire. And then for some reason, he's like, I now have to help people. Yeah. Like, oh. And that guy's like, wow, I wish you kind of could have figured this out before I was getting my ass kicked in an alley. Also, but at least, you know, now save I'm the, the girl. Shocker. The yeah. guy who was like, oh, like, call the cops. Like, there's a fire or whatever. He was the guy also in the first movie who was on the bridge. Mm. You mess with one of us? You mess with that guy? I think I'm pretty we're, sure. No. We're in New York. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure. One of those dudes. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad he's back. Uh, but yeah, they said, hey, we think there's a kid upstairs. What? All right. So even the first movie, what is it with these parents leaving their kids in a building yeah. long enough for it to just erupt into flames? Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like the fire, like where? And again, both times they look just like normal parents. They don't look like meth heads who yeah. like, you know, be like, all right, well, yeah, they don't look like people who would normally leave their kids alone. Uh, it's just like, what are you guys doing? How did you, how long were you gone for this to get to that? Yeah, well, no, they were definitely in the building because they were covered in soot. Why were they that far away from their kid? Maybe the kid just hid. That's true. Like I remember, the kid was uh, in the closet when I was learning about fire safety as a kid. They would say, "Don't hide," because that's like a thing. Like, yeah, kids will hide in the closet, and then you know. So I'm pretty sure the kid hid, and they couldn't find the child, and Explode. then it was like too much, and they had ah. to go. This scene is pretty good though. Like the fire stuff is like pretty intense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh looks like it's all in camera. I mean there's And some I like that stuff. it's like it's Peter. It's not he's not It's Peter powerful. like without his power. Yeah, he just so that's is like a doing fun, it, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh that's always fun when you see like a superhero that's like depowered, having yeah. to overcome an obstacle. I enjoyed when he fell through the hole. 
Like, oh, and she, she jump. And she's trying to She help tries him to pick like, him up. Oh. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like <laughs> she pulls him up. Uh, so yeah, he ends up saving the kid, but it turns out some poor soul got trapped on the fourth floor. Yeah. He's probably, oh, there's someone in here. They're they're gonna come up right after they save that person out there. I can't wait. I'm gonna be saved. And then that always reminds me. I think, I think Robot Chicken made fun of it. That always reminds me in Star Wars when they save Princess Leia from the prison thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, what do you think the other prisoners on the Death Star were like? Are they coming for me next? There's yeah. a whole Robot <laughs> Chicken where like a guy gets his bag ready, and it's like, oh, they just left all those. And other- then they fucking torpedoed the shit out of it and <laughs> yeah. exploded everyone in there. Oh my god, I never thought about that. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe there weren't other prisoners. <laughs> Collateral damage. Yeah. <laughs> Peter has lunch with Ursula, the chocolate cake. Yeah. And they stare and at each other. And a glass of milk. And a glass of milk. Which is like a really awkwardly. Like, I, I love that scene, to be honest. Like, uh, It's just a very awkward scene. I'm like, huh, I wonder. Well, why I mean, did it, she stack the plate yeah, it's on weird. top on of the top cake of the, instead of putting it underneath? Yeah. She's not the brightest, it seems. That's that's mean to her. It's a waste she's, of cake. She's super nice. <laughs> She's, she's not, a nice girl. Nice people can be not and bright. She, and she cares about Pete. And, we know and you're people here who making are, fucking fun. We, of her. we know people who are nice, you're but not very person, bright. Tony. Okay. We know a lot terrible, of people who are nice, person. but not bright. She, she, uh, she's is, doing her best. Yeah, and you're just being so mean. She's helping with the family business, and you're fucking talking shit about her. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> um, Let me see here. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Aunt May forgives Peter. Yeah. Uh, and she does her whole, there's a hero in all of us. Yep. Is that the scene? I believe there's a hero in all of us. Just, yeah. That tears you up? No. Oh, no, it's not. Really? It's not. Huh. It's actually not. Well, that's a really good speech. It is a great scene. I was gonna say, does she know at this point that he's Spider Man? Because she's definitely like, I don't think laying so. it on pretty thick. Though, I think it's cause... like, maybe it's like how like, uh, like uh, MJ is kind of, where it's like MJ. Where she's like, I thought I knew. I always thought I no, because if she like knew, she would have known earlier. Because she didn't like Spider Man. Mm. She's like, Nah, that guy sucks. Yeah, I read the Bugle, and then he saved her, and it's like, Well, I like him now. Yeah, Aunt May seems like the kind of person that's like into that fucking. She'd be into like QAnon and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nowadays. Don't. What do you mean? Don't. Don't what? <laughs> don't accuse me of being Q, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Why you accuse me? No. You guys, you guys talk about that on here? No, no. Oh. See, he actually is. There. No, someone left a YouTube comment they're like, "So Tony's QAnon and this," and I'm like, "What?" I'm like, someone when thought did you were, I never mentioned it. Someone thought you were QAnon or just a supporter of QAnon. I don't see. No, no, they no think I was. Just, he dragged me to a MAGA party. Or my will. <laughs> <laughs> that footage doesn't exist. Shut up. <laughs> um, uh, you think it makes QAnon? No, I think I don't. Yeah, she's just no. I think she's the kind of person to be like, you know, Peter. Uh, what's it called? Um, I don't know. A storm's coming, Peter. I don't know. Something, something <laughs> stupid like that. Coming. Yeah. When she's like masturbating. Shut up. <laughs> um, no, I don't think she. She seems pretty liberal because she's you know. Yeah. Really in a self care. The speech is really good. If you know what I'm talking about. The speech is really good. It's yeah. a really really nice speech. What? Is that painted like that, or did you like shit on this? <laughs> shit on it. It's painted like that. Look at that. It looks like you ran it through your butt. I didn't do anything. I bought that. I bought that online for this review. It looks like you got poo poo on it. I bought that online for this review. <laughs> okay. Anyway, looks like maybe whoever you bought it from, they're like, I like sticking the tentacles into my anus. <laughs> 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 Can we just go one Spider-Man video without this? Just one Spider-Man video. Why'd you have me on then? <laughs> why did I have you on? <laughs> you know why? Because the last episode did really well yeah. when you were in the thumbnail. And, and I was in the zone. <laughs> That's why you were on. <laughs> um Jesus Christ. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Aunt May forgives him. All is well with them. She convinces him to be a uh, Spider-Man again. Yeah. Unknowingly, he practices jumping. I'm back. And then he yeah. falls and hurts his back. I'm back. Yeah. And there's a scene, scene we don't like. He touches the car and the alarm goes off. But you're you, no, 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 no. He lightly touches. Yeah. He just yeah. Taps and it. I bet you like the sound guy thought it'd be funny to add in the the alarm. But then, like, the car's not flashing or anything, yeah. so it just looks awkward. Whatever. Yeah, maybe it's just, like, a, a sound alarm. No. Well, no, know. usually they light up. Whatever. But I, I don't care. Has a car alarm ever scene. worked? Uh, Has literally anyone gone, like, a car alarm? 
We should see if there's burglars. Now everybody's like, oh my God, shut that fucking thing off. <laughs> Somebody steal it and get it out of here already. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> um, Mary Jane is hanging out with her fiance. Yeah. Hmm. In his NASA shirt. Because yeah. he's from NASA. He's, he's been to space. He's been to the moon. Because he's going to bring back Venom or maybe turn into a werewolf, possibly. Yeah. Oh, spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler. None of that happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So she's like, he's like, are you inviting Peter Parker? Yeah. Who's that uh, buddy of yours? You know, the dude that got slapped a bunch of fucking times in front of us <laughs> at the party. <laughs> also, so in the extended cut, uh, her and the girl from Death Proof. Yeah. Uh, they're hanging out a lot more. There's like a bunch of scenes because that's like her maid of honor and stuff. Okay. But she's just like, what about that kiss you said you had? That was so great. Whatever happened to that guy? So like her girls, her friends just like, why don't you date the person you really want to? You know, why wouldn't she fucking tell her friend like, yo, I fucking scored with Spider-Man. I he fucking put People his tongue would believe down her. my throat. Like, okay, I, okay. I, so you know, no one witnessed. But she it, never tells anybody. Like, no, I no guess one, that's the thing. Like, yeah. you know, if, if I was like, guys, I made out with Spider-Man, you'd be like, well, no, you didn't. You because you know what? No one, also, what? <laughs> no one witnessed the second time he saved her. Yeah. Except for the gang of rapists, but I don't think they're going around. You think they're all, like getting, they're on the floor like with broken ribs and they're like, damn, nice dude. <laughs> <laughs> you made out with However, people did see her get saved twice by Spider-Man, so it's reasonable to assume. Yeah, and then he just leaves her on, like, a rooftop. Yeah. Like, a rooftop garden. Yeah. And I guess she had to get back. Why wouldn't you put her on street level? I don't know. So then she's got to go and find the elevator of this built. Like, be like, hey, I, then what if they're like, ma'am, how'd you get in here? You're trespassing. It's like, oh, Spider-Man dropped me off. Spider-Man dropped you off? You're coming with downtown <laughs> with me. Like, and she gets arrested. I know, it's like... <laughs> so... <laughs> So fucking, she's hanging out with her fiance, and she's like, speaking of Peter, she's like, can I kiss you upside down like a fucking weirdo? Yeah, and then she's like, no, 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 on his Why face. Why does she like, kiss like that? I don't know, like but around, he should like, be like, sucking his soul. Yeah. He should really be like, that was a weird thing you wanted to do. Hey, weren't you rescued a couple times by that guy who yeah. hangs upside down a lot? <laughs> like, he's like, no, uh, no, instead, this poor cinnamon roll is like, oh, I'm back on the moon. And I'm yeah. like, and he's, he's like, so wholesome. He's so nice. He's like, I always love when you get so much saliva in my no nostrils. It's just awesome. I love when it goes, it drips in the back Why of my throat. Why is he so hurts. nice? His dad is J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> I guess he's so nice. Yeah. Just be like slapping around like, I'm J. I'm J. He Jonah Jr. Yeah, loves right? her. I was on the moon, you bitch. Like, I feel really bad for him, to be I honest. Do too. Like, But you know what? You can't help who you have feelings for. Thing, you know, and this is like, really the moral have to of the say, story. Yeah, I'm getting married to you. Like, damn, you have he feelings gets, for someone he gets else. You selfish in this, bitch. He gets cucked in this universe. He dies in the Venom universe. Yeah. Guy can't catch a break. Poor dude. Turns into a werewolf in the comics. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Yo, that's the thing. Like, imagine going to space and everything, and you're just dating some girls in a shit play off Broadway, and it's like garbage. And then she fucking leaves you for a fucking. You know, you don't know he's Spider Man. You think he's just this poor guy living in You're some like Russian my dad's guy's photographer. apartment. Yeah, I think maybe I'm, I think they kept that relationship under Probably. wraps. <laughs> That's true. Um, if I was Jane Jonah Jameson, I'd be like, God damn it, Peter, you fucking <laughs> asshole! I I spent a lot of money on this wedding. So yes, Mary Jane is horny for Peter again. Yeah, and now she's like, Hey, remember when you said you were like into it? Well, I'm back to being into it. Yeah, and he's like, I spoke too soon. Yep, not actually into it. And then. This is and the then scene. Dr. Okay, so this is the scene that was in all the trailers. Yeah, and also it was one of the funniest Conan O'Brien moments. It was the <laughs> look out. out. Here Billy comes jo Billy Joel. Look out! Here comes Billy Joel. And so <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this. Yeah. Dr. Octopus doesn't know Peter Spider-Man. No. Yeah, which I never thought about this until you brought it up. Yeah. And it was and the cracking thing is, me the fuck up. He needs Peter to relay a message to Spider-Man and needs Mary Jane as a hostage yeah. to show Spider-Man he's serious. And then he throws a car at them that would have killed them. Yeah. He uh, whips this them. car at them. Yes. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, he should be like, well, Peter's just a regular guy. Yeah. Like, he, like when he threw the car, it's like... He, he was going to kill them. Maybe what happened was like, you know, when when uh, Pete, when he was leaving Harry Osborne's place and he's like, don't hurt Peter. He's like, hurt Peter? Gotcha. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'll whip a car at him. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> did I hear that right? You said yeah, hurt Peter. Hurt Peter. Gotcha. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, here we go, a car. And then, because could you imagine, also too, was it a parked car or is there someone like, help? I like, don't see anyone in the car okay. being like, ah! 
<laughs> yeah. And Maybe then, it is Billy Joel. Imagine, too, he's like, I need you to really lay a message to me. And he's talking to the obliterated gore pile of the smashed car body of, and he's like <laughs> picking him up and it's all like just bones and, and, and blood. Like, hey, and, yeah. I need you to find Spider Man. I need you to find Spider Man. Peter? Peter? Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, he's dead. he said, don't hurt. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Peter breaks out of the rubble. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. He throws him into like a fucking wall. Like, and yeah. Literally, again. that could have put him in a wheelchair. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. He's like. He's like Spider-Man. My fucking. My my rib cage and and most of my thoracic vertebrae is dust. Yeah. I'll get Spider-Man eventually. Like <laughs> like shit, dude. He threw him into a brick. Like imagine hitting into a like a brick wall hard enough to shatter bricks. Yeah. As a human. Yeah. You're, also, that like fucking Doctor Octopus is like, uh, you're gonna meet me at this tower. Or I'll peel the flesh from her bones. I'm like, that's yeah. pretty severe. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, he like turned into like a legit monster, and yeah. it's like, no, dude. I'm like, that's a little, that's a little much, buddy. Is, imagine you get there, and he literally is like just ripping skin off of Mary Jane. She's like a skeleton. <laughs> it it to I'd be like, Jesus Christ, man, uh, you're a psycho. What are those arms so, talking to you about? Like, they're fucking. Why did you program them that way? So Jay Jonah is sad. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Spider-Man was the only one who could have saved us. Which this scene's great. It's so he's like, fucking he was funny. A, he was a hero. And then Spider-Man steals his suit. He's like, he's a menace! He's a menace! He stole my suit! Yeah. I love that scene. It, it made me laugh like so hard in the theater yeah. when I saw it too. Just because he finally has it. Like, And you're like, wow, J. Jonah Jameson finally is... And then he it just the switch immediately. <laughs> they also got those newspapers out really fucking yeah. fast. Yeah, they really did. Yeah. Like, he probably told Robbie ready? to run it. Like, yeah. <laughs> he told Robbie to run it right there. He was yeah. like, do it. Uh the West Side Tower fight is awesome. Yep. Um, and then it turns into the train fight. The train fight. Which is incredible and apparently took a year to complete between oh, really? filming and the digital stuff. Oh, oh wow. shit. Okay. It took a really long time for them to do this and it's fucking awesome. Um, Every single part of it. Yeah. We get a cameo from the guy from Evil Dead 2 and I think someone from The Sopranos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's everything about this. Scene also, uh, spoiler alert, this is the scene. This, this scene is gets, the scene oh, that makes me tear okay. up okay. ridiculously. The second... So... That's the thing. You got Spider Man in the in his most heroic. He's yeah. been so far in all the movies. Like no matter what, like all the yeah. times he saved people, he has a train full of people. I love to. He tries to stop it with the feet, and the guy's like, "Any more bright ideas?" And he's just like, "Yeah, I, I got a few." I was like, say, he's still in, nice in, about it. In that part, Phil Lamar is in the background. I'm like, oh What's really? Phil Lamar. Oh really? Like, I, I can't that. stop staring at Phil Lamar. Huh. Um, yeah, no, the, so the fight is great. Yeah, and I love when Doctor Octopus ups the ante by throwing people, and he's got to like web them. Yeah. And like, then that doesn't work, so he's like, I gotta speed up the fucking train and break it. Um, yeah, so then I like how you kind of need to see his face for this scene. Yeah. Again, the new movies get lucky with the whole, like, the the digital face, how you yeah. can see his, like, emotions, but they didn't have that yet. So it's like, all right, because people get annoyed that he takes his mask off a lot. It's like, well, you need to convey some kind of emotion. We talked about it a little bit in the last yeah. one. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I, like you said, I like when he tries the foot, it doesn't work, and yeah. then he tries the webs, no, the that webs doesn't like, work. He's like, I'm going to try it again, but with a lot of webs, and it almost no, fucking dies. I, I love that part where it's like he's, and he's crushing into the front of the train, yeah. and his, like, the suit's ripping. Yeah, and he's, like, holding Yeah, and he's, like, holding it, and it's, you know, it, and he just makes it, and then passes out. Yeah. And everyone grabs him. They save him. Yeah. Pass him along, and then like I know that you you always rip on the scene where the guy's like he's like no older than my son, like he's, he's a just kid. a kid, no older but than he's my definitely son. Like yeah, and it's just like your thirty two year old son yeah. is a kid. Like what the fuck? No, I <laughs> I the yeah. scene where the two kids walk up and they hand him the mask, and everyone's like we're not we're cool. Yeah. Apparently that those scene... kids are related to Tobey Maguire. Oh okay, yeah, really? I think they said it was like his cousins or something yeah. like that. Also, it's just like we're probably never gonna... thinking about it now. I like I I get that scene just gets me. I mean, I think know, about it. No every time. Like, who the fuck knows Peter Parker? They're like, this yeah, is, well, that's this the is thing. a big city. Matter. You're like a generic white guy. I don't know if we're ever going to remember who you are. Yeah. Like, but how many times like, someone can still sketch something? Well, the, and be the, like, way, the way he like starts realizing, like, oh my God, they're all looking and they're like, we, it's cool. Yeah. We, we won't. You know how many tell times anyone, I've you know? like, I've met someone and then met them again and forgot that I met them and didn't recognize yeah. them? Like, it's fine. Like, it happens. You're just a terrible person. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I always remember faces, I don't remember names. Yeah, still, so it, it always yeah, reminds same. me. I really I love the. Um, about that. I really love the the Justice League episode where Lex Luthor and the Flash get their brain switched. 
I've never, never watched seen that, that one. No. Oh my god, it's great. So Lex Luthor's in the Flash's body and he's in Justice League headquarters. He's running away. Oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he like he looks in the mirror and he's like, Well, at least I'll know the identity of the Flash. And he takes his mask off and he goes, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> like he just looks like, like like some guy, That's I guess. <laughs> like like because who, who how would he know? Like yeah, uh, Barry Allen, like yeah, who, it's like who I, even... uh, red hair, I guess. <laughs> Um, I think it was Wally West and Justice League. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, that that train scene is incredible. Yeah, it's it's straight up that reference um, in Spider Verse. Yep, uh, along with a couple other things. It's straight so, yeah. up at that point. I remember I, I seeing that in theaters. Everyone, they, and people clapped at the end of it and stuff. Like yeah. it was one of those things. Like they tried to imitate it in No Way Home with the ship breaking mm-hmm. in yeah. half. Oh, I it's love that too, though. Yeah. I actually really like that. No, I like that. Yeah, like it, it just it doesn't have it wasn't as intense. No, it really didn't. And and. uh no, that whole scene straight up, I have like goosebumps thinking about yeah. it. I'm such a, like a loser when it comes. And then to I love, I do shit, love the though. scene where Doctor Octopus shows up again. Yeah, I'm well, like, it's uh-huh. like it doesn't. Yeah, even, I love it. It. <laughs> That's the only thing that gets me about this scene that I don't like is that it is so abruptly uh, interrupted. But I like that it's still. Then they're like, "No, nope, you're gonna have to go." Uh, but I love the way yeah. he goes like this and then goes. No, I just, like, I just like, right. you're gonna have to yeah. go through me. And he's like, okay. And he yeah, just separates like, okay. them. It's like that's real easy. Very well. But I like Sp- Spider Man's like it's cool. Yeah, I got this. Like, but then he just punches the fucking <laughs> shit out of Spider Man. Yeah, he uh, drops Peter off at Harry's. He takes yep. the tritium and leaves. And Harry's like, "Before I kill you, I need to see your face." And then, yep, t- uh, uh, well, great timing. Spider Man wakes up as soon as his mask gets taken yeah. off, and he's also fine enough to like just be like, "Okay, ripping off this yeah. barbed wire." Yeah, he's in go. barbed hey. wire, which is kind of messed up. Which yeah. also, where did he get the barbed wire for that? Like, no, he's like, "Oh, barbed wire, wrap to be you like up." Like a callback to the first one where he sees the spider web in the barbed wire in the first one. I don't know, maybe, maybe. maybe. I don't know. that's supposed to be a thing. Like, that's a deep like. I yeah. don't know about that. Know. But yeah, Harry, uh, maybe <laughs> like Harry's like shocked. Like yeah. he like falls and everything. He's like, which oh, I would be too. Like, imagine if like I don't know, you're like. I killed your dad. Oh and God! Then, you killed my dad. <laughs> and then you found out, like, oh my God, the guy did it all the time was Kieran. <laughs> Wouldn't you kind of be like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> it was that dastardly denim dirt bag. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I have a friend like you, Kieran. Yeah. And I'm to like, keep Tony, safe. We have to go save Johanna. He's uh, <laughs> Alfred Molina has Johanna, and uh, she's in your room with him. <laughs> Trust me, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and and the Bruce Willis is shaking all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it might put a hole in him by accident. Now. <laughs> this scene, though, I'm really mad that Peter wasn't just like, "Look, we will talk about this later. Yeah. We just have to save." Or be day. like, "Dude, your I'll dad." I'll explain was... later. I promise. Yeah, like or just tell him, like, "Dude, your dad was a fucking robot goblin." <laughs> <laughs> Like, like d- Harry, he was the Green Goblin. Yeah, I- I'm sure if you look at all the masks. Yeah, like it's come on. Like, l- yeah. look around. You're probably gonna find some Green Goblin shit. Uh, I hit I hit his glider on the roof because I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I couldn't turn it into the police yeah. because they'd be like, "Oh, it's Harry Osborn or Norman Osborn." That's the thing too. It's like, do you, when have you ever heard of Spider Man stabbing a guy in yeah. the fucking dick? When have I done that? When that's have like, I ever done it? That's kind of like uh, the Dark Knight trilogy when they're just like yes he killed Harvey Dent it's like wow remember that one time he killed a guy and then we didn't see him again like yeah seems like a weird thing for Batman to do <laughs> yeah right and after all the people he's just broken a ton of bones on yeah <laughs> he just decided to kill a fucking he decided DA. to kill a hero who and, was recovering yeah, from burns his like, face was fuck? already pretty fucked like he could have just <laughs> let him be <laughs> oh <my God>. um <laughs> uh Peter uh, shows up to save Mary Jane. Dr. Octopus knows he's there. They get into it. Why bit. does he suddenly have like a spidey sense too? Because he's literally just a normal guy. I guess it's like the... the, the I think the arm's like, caught on. They're like, oh, dude, dude, uh, he's here. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> like, let him know. <laughs> what if they talk? They should have talked. Oh, apparently they had names. Oh, and it's the three stooges. It was, yeah, the three sto- stooges and Flo. Flo. So it was the one? It was Larry, it wasn't Mo- Shemp? No, it's Larry, Mo, Curly, Curly. and Flo. Huh. Why Flo? Flo was one of the ones up here. I can't remember Why which one Flo? it was. I don't fucking know. Did you ever see the behind the scenes of him singing? Uh, the, 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 he's singing the, uh, the, the, yeah, the yeah. Fiddler yeah, on the yeah, Roof yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> if I were a rich man. There's also a scene where it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, they, uh, oh, Willem uh, Dafoe Norman was there. Yeah. I mean, not Norman Osborn. Willem Dafoe. Yeah. He's, and he's wearing, the wearing them and everything. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
is the fuel that makes this project go. Uh, yeah, so while they're fun, can you guys stop <laughs> playing with Alfred Molina? I really like that I would that love figure. to play with Alfred Molina. So while they're uh, fighting. Uh, speaking of uh, you hating Frozen, uh, he's actually married to the woman, uh, I believe it's who wrote the music or something like that. Someone involved oh. with Frozen, so I thought oh, you shit. would enjoy that. He was good in the animated Wonder Woman movie. I'm going to take her as, out. As uh, Ares. Hmm. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, at some point, Peter pulls up like a wire to electrocute him. Yeah. And this like resets his brain for a second. Yep. And then like Peter disables the machine, but it's already stabilizing. Yeah. Like, it's starting to like self sustaining. Self sustaining. Yep. Sustaining. And then we also get we get some uh, Kirsten Dunst nipples and we get Alfred Molina nipples in the same scene. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> Quadruple nipples. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's basically like, hey, Dr. Octopus, <laughs> I'm Peter Parker. And then Peter, he's just like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. He's like, like lazy, that's his but first. Brilliant. It's not like, oh my God, my wife is dead. I'm a monster. Oh, you're yeah. Peter Parker. This is another scene with the uh, claws where you can see the um, yeah, the lights. Lights changing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's like, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'll listen. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Johanna turns red. So he's she's red, and then she turns white. <laughs> so he's basically like, "Oh man, I fucked up. I gotta fix this." He's like, "Maybe I can sink into the river. I'll do it." Yeah, I like how he's I, like, "No!" Like yeah. his arm goes and stops him. He's like, "I'll do it." He's like, "I'll do it." Let me turn into a CGI guy with fuzzy hair for a second. <laughs> it really bothers me that it does not match. It yeah, really bothers me. I mean, it's me. like, eh. but then weird. MJ. MJ. I love that reveal out. where she's yeah. like. Ha! I like what it. What do too. you know? And then she almost gets crossed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crushed, I, yeah, but I, I love that scene though, where he's holding it up and he's just like, "Hey, this, this is, is really heavy." heavy. <laughs> I love that scene. It's so that's Spider Man. Like, and I, every, and I, I like that he confessed. It was like, "Hey, we're probably gonna die." Yeah. Uh, I like you. I lie. Yeah. There's no like. She loves. Yeah. yeah. And, and he loves. Re her. Realistically, this is another actual scene that I well up a bit. I'm like, I this movie straight up. It's like uh, how it would go in real life though. Is like I, I really loved you. She's like, even when you said you didn't, and you'd be like, yeah. She's like, why did you lie to me? Oh, what else have you been lying about? Oh, you just fucking lie, I guess. And he's like, Mary Jane, we're about to be crushed. She's like, I don't even care. Just let it crush me if you're fucking lying. Like, that's how it would go in real life. Who hurt you, Tony? Yeah. Well, 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 yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> God. No, that's how it would go. A hundred percent. That's what you would do. Yeah, maybe to you. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are this a liar. Is, oh, I didn't realize this was like a fucking... No, not her, but... No, no, well, a lot, no. Okay, yeah, no. This is just a Trust me, in general man. thing. Trust me, dog. Been there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> bros. I'm so happy I'm in a nice, stable relationship. <laughs> There's none because of that. not a, because of you. It's because of Alfred Nerul. <laughs> it's more because of the. I'm gonna find uh, everyone in this office love. It's more because of the romance powers of Pax East. <laughs> <laughs> Machinima. <laughs> Machinima. <laughs> um. Yes. So Mary Jane finds out he's Peter Parker. Yeah. Really sad. Uh. Doctor Octopus dies. Wait, it's sad. Yeah. It's actually not sad. It, it's well, it's sad because happy. you think they're going to die. And, oh. Yeah, but it uh, said he, he <laughs> yeah, saved her. Right. You don't think they're going to die. You're like, nah, Spider-Man's got this. Yeah. yeah. You know? But, I uh, never thought he was going to die. Alvin sinks the sun into the water. I will not die. Above. Which, why doesn't yeah. that just fucking vaporize the whole East River? Oh, I want to talk about that. So earlier, when the sun disappeared, it like absorbed one of the things. I'm like, shouldn't that have start, made a black hole? In the middle of the city? Yeah, that's true. Which would just eat the planet like in the Star also, Trek? Also, like, a sun is a fucking... A sun is a mass of incandescent gas. <laughs> Wait, technically, if we're being realistic, they should, their skin should just be melting. Oh off yeah, <laughs> they should be like ah. Well, that's thing. So the so so the thing about fusion is, uh, there's no fusion source on Earth. The mm. only fusion source that we know of is our sun. There's fission, mm. which is like what they try, but fusion is uh, two hydrogens forming a helium atom. Mm -hmm. And it just fucking it makes a sun for some fucking. I don't really <laughs> understand the rest of it. I just understand what it is. And then it makes a black hole if it, goes if it away. yeah if it goes in. I, I don't know. Like honestly, it's kind of fucking weird that that shit is happening right now. Yeah. But we're here talking about this fucking movie. <laughs> Meanwhile, the universe is a thing. <laughs> like what the? There's hell? a lot of stuff going on in the universe yeah. right now. It is weird, right? You know. Um, think about it. Aliens being dipshits up in there. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Karen. Here. 
This is not the you Cinemasker already know podcast. You know, it's, like, it's, like, like, uh, it's okay. I talked about having yeah. sex with aliens on He wants to fight episode. aliens. You want to fuck them? Yo, I'll I'm tell just you completely what, neutral to I'll, all of it. Yeah, you have sex with a few. I'll beat up the rest. Okay. 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 Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And um, Aunt May will masturbate to it because she's either into the the you having sex with them or me or she's into violence. We don't know which one. One of them so, will make her horny. So Mary well, Jane, hey, no, <laughs> maybe both. So maybe he saves Mary right. Jane from the spinning wheel of death. Yeah, when he finally yeah. throws the wall, and then it's yeah. just like, oh, they're fine, and then we. Which there's that, like there's like um, electric transformers. I don't it. know what it is about Sam Raimi and a bunch of rusty ass shit in in, in yeah. abandoned buildings, but that's a very Sam Raimi thing. It feels that's like coming dark, at man. them. Yeah, and it reminds me of like Evil Dead when it's yeah. crumbling. Like it reminds yeah, me of the yeah. bridge and stuff of Evil Dead. Um. So yeah, he has her in the. Uh, the web and he's like hey i can't tell you yeah, and hang. he's like he's like the reason i didn't tell yeah, you like spider walking yeah. you know yeah she's just hanging on the I'd very like, edge too why was yeah. she like more in the middle if i saw him move like that i'd be like look you know i was kind of into you but that's so fucking weird you, you i i'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> you creep me out but yeah he tells her he's like hey i can't be although <laughs> yeah he's like i can't be with you if my enemies find out who you are yeah. They'll kidnap you, and she should be like, that happens anyway. Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> it's happened in both situations. It's literally happened one, two, three I never, times. I never thought about that at all. I, you know, I was also attacked by a gang of rapists, and they had no idea who Spider-Man was. If anything, I totally want to be with you, yeah, because I, I know be you will save me. I around you all yeah. the time. Up. I also realized I missed out on a really good joke when uh, he was shooting, and it wasn't coming out. Gonna say he was shooting blanks. This is a family show. Where? Is it? <laughs> it is. What yes. fucking messed up family's watching your show? We have this is a very Christian channel, and you're very you're upsetting me. Uh huh. Aunt May. No. Robin. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Okay. Vagina. <laughs> he tells her why they can't be together. Uh, back at Harry's place. Norman oh, Osborn. No, I want to talk about the fiance running all heroically, like going to get her yeah. because he was so worried. Also, J. Jonah Jameson's there too for some yeah. reason. He's like, it's a good story. Why are you? <laughs> Probably, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But at the same he's time, like, like Spider Man kidnapped my he might have been son's like fiance. he's like, wait a minute, uh, Mary Jane was out by the water. That means her nipples are hard. <laughs> I can go see. It. Why does he talk like Because that? every time she's in a water source, she's never wearing a bra. Uh, yeah, Mary True. Jane's very free yeah. the nipple. Um. Yeah, so Harry's all sad. I hope Kirsten Dunst is like, oh, a Spider-Man review. <laughs> Imagine she's... I got a fun, they, I got do a those fun kind quote. of people watch YouTube at all, you think? I got a fun quote with Kirsten Dunst in a minute. Um, but yeah, so Harry's at his house, and he hears Norman Osborn talking to him. And then he sees his ghost. Yeah. It's not a ghost, though, is it? Hallucination. So what I think is... He's just very drunk. What I think is... So he finds the goblin lair in the house. Avenge me! No! And we see they have the performance enhancers. What I think is meant to happen is that Harry or Norman was injecting the enhancers, the gas, and they might have gotten into the house and started messing with Harry's head. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good theory. That's what I think might have happened. Yeah. I subscribe to that theory. Because other than that, it's just like, why is Harry suddenly having a mental breakdown where he's visual? Why did he suddenly? That is, you no, know. I mean, I, I can under I can actually understand the mental breakdown because imagine finding out that your friend is Spider Man, the one who killed your. But father. to the point where like you're hallucinating your dead dad yelling at you. Well, also and too, I'm mad and that you, the, the ghost. Avenge me! I was really mad that Ghost Norman Osborn wasn't a big thing in Spider Man Three. Yeah, I would have loved just Ghost Norman. Also, Osborn. he was in the mirror, right? Like yeah. the mirror was the room that he breaks yeah. the mirror and then it goes in. Okay, because yeah. also. Uh, that's a real like lucky thing to just all of a sudden break. Yeah. And also, why would you hide like I'm gonna hide uh, my entire arsenal behind just a plate of glass, normal glass, yeah. not bulletproof. What if, what if Harry was like, I want to get rid of this mirror? And it's like, what yeah, the right. Fuck is this? He just pulls it off the wall, and there's just a hole with a bunch of bombs. I'd be like, oh my god. Dad. I do like I do like when he turns and the mask is there. Yeah, and it, like just screams. Did you see when he threw the um, knife at the glass too? Whatever, it went from Harry to um, Norman, then Harry again, and then Norman real quick. Oh, no, oh, I didn't yeah. see that. That's yeah. cool. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so he sees the performance enhancers, the glider, the bombs, which are all neatly yeah. put on a thing. And I'm like, he seemed really crazy. I don't think he was like, I'm going to make a nice glass shit. <laughs> I'm going to do going to leave all his pumpkin bombs the... in a pile or something yeah. like that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what if Peter went and put the goblin glider back in there for him? Yeah, like, he arranged them yeah. all for him. <laughs> it's like, I assume. He'll never find this. <laughs> 
Hopefully he never throws a heavy object at this mirror. <laughs> Or moves the mirror. <laughs> he should, realistically, Peter should be like, I'm going to put this all in like a bag and bury it in the yeah. water so but no one ever like, finds it. Where did he have like 800 pumpkin bombs with him? He can't, the, not for anything, but like the goblin mm. suit doesn't have any sort of shit. They're in the glider. Oh, are they? But even how do they fit in that? That glider can't hold They're pretty. That glider's pretty Don't bulky. They shrink? In the third one, they shrink. Okay. They're like Pokeballs. Yeah, in the third one, because he has that stupid skateboard, they're like flat and then they pop up. I will not... Hey, yeah. you could just use this cool suit again and just not use the helmet and just like, you know, have the glider. The suit's in the new one. I'm right? using a skateboard. Did you see someone I'm young. skateboard? Did you see someone <laughs> photoshop the new po you just see the new Spider-Man poster where it's like all the villains? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. and like Green Goblin's in the corner. Mm -hmm. Someone photoshopped it where it's like the scene of like Green Goblin's butt when Willem Dafoe's <laughs> bent over. They're like, I fixed it. <laughs> I like someone on Twitter was like uh, they circled it and were like, did you guys catch this? And everybody's like, yeah, everyone fucking caught it. Yeah, it's, moron. Right. it's not like, hidden. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those things where it's like the 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 stupid YouTube thumbnail. And it's like and it's like things you missed in the. Oh, yeah, I'm very familiar with those. I'm very familiar with those. Shirt. Uh, summer, <laughs> I used to do fake trailer breakdowns. You could still probably find them on this channel. <laughs> I always hated those. They tricked me back in the day. My fake ones? Or no, the, no, not yours. Oh, them yeah. in general. It's like he just circled random shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're Infinity War. It's literally a picture of Spider-Man. I just circled just the sky. There's just <laughs> nothing there. <laughs> That's funny. The first one I did was Alien Covenant, and it's like the guy's back breaking. I just I circled a lamp. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. Anyway. Thanks, you missed. <laughs> what did this mean? Um, So Mary Jane is going to uh, get married. Yeah. And uh, changes her mind. Yep. She leaves that son of a bitch at the altar. Yeah, it leads to the best line in the movie where it's a uh, call the caterer. And tell and her, tell not, her to not to open, open the, the caviar. caviar. Yeah. Tell her not to open the caviar. And Harry's there with his green bow tie. Yeah. He's green now. Which what also. A, uh, uh, what a good setup for uh, the new goblin. I know you like the movie, but you just gotta admit, like it's the new the goblin, goblin look in the whatnot. It's a little bit weird, but the new movie, the the third movie, is way underrated. Which we're gonna talk about. It's super we underrated. We will be covering it before No Way Home. And also, it also makes me tear up. The mm. third movie. So yeah, Mary Jane is running in the wedding dress throughout New York. People always say that guy she runs past is Thomas Jane's The Punisher, but it's not. Oh. There were talks where they were going to have a Wolverine cameo back when they didn't care as much about that stuff. Huh. And they couldn't get, like, the outfit. Um, so they are like, eh, whatever. whatever. Uh, kind of a weird... It would be weird to put the X-Men in this universe. Yeah, like, it would be all kind the of weird. Mutant stuff? <laughs> There's a lot of, like, you know, there wasn't very much, like, uh, in, in the X-Men movies, there, there were no, like, masturbating characters in those movies, so it would be weird to just throw them into Spider-Man where everybody's yeah. masturbating. Anyway. I love how you're like, I'm not gonna do it. And I you, know, but you it's run so, the, it's just... The joke's not even in the ground. I'm, I'm like shoehorning it The joke too. is like it's subterranean like, now. Yeah, <laughs> I am like, uh, you um, know, that's what I like. But yeah, she finally shows up to him and she basically says what I said. She's like, I like how Peter didn't know she was there for a while, too. Did she just like stand there? Peter, for what, what, and why was his door open? How could he possibly know? Does he have some kind of sense that can alert him to things? Yeah, but, but Mary Jane ain't dangerous. If anything, like he, she'd get her ass kicked by Peter if she ever tried some shit. Yeah. But yeah, she's like, I want to be with you and I don't care because I'm kidnapped anyway. What if she got in there and she's like, you know, I came in here and I saw you just sitting looking at the wall like a fucking psycho and I don't want any part of you. I'm going back to my wedding yeah. go hang Open out with the caviar <laughs> what if what if she cut there and he's like with the ursula girl and just like uh. just like <laughs> oh my cake. god like railing her out and everything like that, that's and she's happened, just yeah that's there, happened she's to like me. rubbing the cake on her and shit that's happening where you're like you're waiting for a girl to come around i'm sorry and she's dragging her feet so Jesus then you're like I'm gonna, I'm gonna date this new girl and then the other girl's like i'm finally into it and you're like well i've already started dating a new girl this is awkward I'm pretty sure that that would. I like Ursula. That would have been a good Spider-Man. You know, movie. Ursula's gonna find a guy. She, Peter, uh, you know, it's just not gonna work out. But Ursula, she's gonna find a, a good dude that's gonna take care of her and uh, and pay rent and yeah, and pay the rent and and she's gonna be happy. I know she will. And that, I believe. And then we get another heroic. We get another heroic swing through the city shot. Yeah. Awkwardly ends on Mary Jane. I don't think it's yeah. awkward at all. I think it's setting up for like the whole problem with the third movie, like yep. with MJ and Peter problems, because yeah. she's like, oh yeah, I finally did this. Like I'm with the person that I'm like with, whatever, but like, what else is going to happen? Yeah. Like, go get him, go on now. On she says, go get him, like, Tiger. Go get him, Tiger. The, the thing is like you get, you have a movie where 
this, in this movie, everyone's just down on Spider-Man the whole time and everything. And then in the third one, everybody loves him, but now everybody's cooling on Mary Jane because also her play is fucking trash. That's yeah. why, mostly why it's a shit play. Mm. So she's uh, garbage. Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> she's a terrible person. That, J. Jonah Jameson's son was so nice. No, yeah, I do feel bad her, for him, but and just leaves it and just leaves no, a note. Like, tell him to his face, bitch. He's kind of a corny loser, bitch, yeah. though. Anyway, oh. so, <laughs> so I'm uh, just kidding. He can get together with Ursula. Yeah. There you go. That's what it is. So Kirsten now, Dunst you know, said, the then they'll love each other I'm and they'll have yep. cake. I'm exactly. trying to read a thing. No one cares. We're talking about this beautiful He's couple. He's going to be like, Ursula, not only did you put me on the moon, you put me in Mars. And and by the way, <laughs> here's your dad's rent money that I owe him. <laughs> Can I read this now? Yeah. So they asked like Kirsten Dunst about Spider-Man 3 when this was coming out. And she wrote, I want to die in Spider-Man 3, laughs Dunst. It would be so fun to die cinematic death. Do you want to know what the death is? <laughs> like Spider-Man accidentally runs her into a wall. <laughs> That's how she wanted Mary Jane to die. <laughs> That's how Kirsten. I don't think she liked being in these movies. Spider-Man's like, I love swinging with you, Mary. Oh no! It just slams her into. So a I wall? know they say in the comics it's implied that Spider-Man might have accidentally killed Gwen Stacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, he was he didn't just be like. Oops! It's yeah. the wall. <laughs> Oops! Like, oh my god, that would be. Imagine that scene. It's like right at the beginning of the movie. It just is. He fucking swings her ass, and she just That's explodes. So <laughs> she just she crumples into a fucking brick wall. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's really fucking oh. hilarious. So yeah, that was I don't know, like I wanna like get swung into a wall or something, like <laughs> lol. So that's Spider Man 2. We love it. Amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. I saw it like three times in theaters, much like the first one. Yeah. Watch it a shit ton on DVD. Yep. Yeah. And it's uh yeah, it's a lot of people's favorite movies from that time. It's yeah. One of the biggest films at that time. This is my favorite Spider Man movie. Me too. Yes. It's definitely top Spider Man movie. It's, it's in, really hard to beat. If I were to ever say like there's a top list of even just superhero movies, it's in the the my top five and it's high up. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's an overall good time, and I'm excited to rewatch the third one. Yeah. Which I did watch recently, but I didn't take notes. So I'm re excited to rewatch it. I have new opinions on it, which I love the we'll get movie. to. Yeah, we will talk about uh, it. And we are all excited for No Way Home. Yep, me too. Are you excited for No Way <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Let us know if you're horny for Alfred Molina. <laughs> uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I, you know, I will say this. I wasn't, but Johan is convincing me. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> make sure to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> check our website. Check our Patreon Watch Kieran on the Cinemasker podcast. We have a Godzilla podcast sometimes. <laughs> Go to castzilla dot, castzilla .com, Castzilla versus the Pod Monster on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hopefully no one dies in the next Spider-Man <laughs> video we do. Because that's going to be very sad. We've now lost four actors who played Spider-Man. Yeah. Are there any left? There's, no. There's the Japanese Spider-Man. Oh, movie. God. <laughs> so, like, All right. If the Japanese Spider-Man is alive... Please get him somewhere safe and yeah. tell him to not visit the store. Keep him Italian. away from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Italian Spider-Man. Oh. Keep Italian Spider-Man safe. Um, <laughs> any last words? Uh, so, furious masturbation. <laughs> goodbye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking, talking about tapes.